and we are officially back today with another rebuild we are rebuilding a bundesliga team today guys it is fc union berlin who definitely needs a rebuild right now take a look at this boys fc union berlin are currently currently in a dogfight for relegation right now, 14th place in the Bundesliga. Only a couple of games ago, you see they're on a two-game win streak right now, a two-match win streak right now. Um, just a little bit ago, they were down in this 15th to 16th range in a relegation dogfight, so they are in desperate needing of a rebuild. And just last season, they were... In fourth place, they finished in fourth place last season, 62 points through 34 match days. The surprising thing about last season is Leverkusen all the way down here, 50 points through 34 matches. And take a look at this season. They are already at 67 points through 25 matches plays, played. Absolutely unbelievable stuff today, boys. We are rebuilding FC Union Berlin. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I can't wait to have fun. I'm going to rechat in a second. I can't wait for all of you guys to join in and have fun today. Um, helping me rebuild FC Union Berlin. And yes, today is an early stream, but it's going to be a fun stream, guys. Let's get it. I'm super tired. I did not sleep very much at all last night. So if my eyes are red, that is why. It's not because I've been doing that kind of stuff, okay? It's not because of that. It's because I am super tired um, and I have not been sleeping lately. But we're here today and we are here to grind, guys. I am working on a new logo for the new sporting juniors that's going to be happening in two weeks guys we're going to be starting sporting juniors again in two weeks that's going to be fun i have not decided the league yet it's either the syria or it's going to be the bundesliga i'll let you guys know when i've decided but we are back today with a bundesliga rebuild it's going to be a lot of fun let me open up the stream on my phone here guys thank you for joining me um where is it Let's see, we have 25 million, man. 25 million is a lot less than what we started with the last episode in the Valencia rebuild, which was like 76 million. We only have 25 million today, guys, so we need to be careful. We need to be smart as AF. We, we need to be smart AF in today's episode, guys. Um, so, yeah, obviously, ultimate difficulty. Uh, Euros, of course, strict negotiations. We want to do this on the hardest mode possible. Um, no international job offers. We're not worrying about that. Maybe one day we'll try that too at the same time um, that we're rebuilding another club. But not today in the transfer window. Of course, enabled. We get three transfers per season. And since we are in the Bundesliga, guys, we have to sign a German player every single season as one of our players, okay? So, yeah, let's uh, name this. Berlin. I was going to do a VFL Wolfsburg rebuild today, but I thought Union Berlin was more in the gutter and they Meine needed Damen help. Herren, that is why they're bringing in Joe Red Sports. Let's go. Joe Red Sports is in to rebuild and fix a dying club, which is Union Berlin. If they get relegated, what are they going to do, bro? What are they going to do? We're not getting relegated today, boys. We're going to do gang and pressing as well. What's up, Dominic? Dominic is in the chat. What's up, bro? I appreciate you joining live from Croatia. You're from Croatia, not me. Um, but I would love to visit, visit Croatia one time. Early stream from my ginger boy. Yes, Sajid. Early stream from the ginger boy today. Joe Red, early stream. Absolutely dubs today, guys. Hit that like button real quick so we can get this in the algorithm. Por favor, guys, hit that like button real quick. Joe, too much on the Zaza. Honestly, if my eyes look red, that is not why. Um, it's because I am very tired. But uh, if you guys want to say I'm on the Zaza or off the Zaza, that's fine with me. That's fine with me. Amit is in the building. What's up, Amit? Caleb's in the building. Sign D K E T E R. Okay, Caleb, I will check that out, bro. I will check that out. That is a crazy thing to say already. We're going to hire some more coaches here. Um, I already have one signing that I want to get solidified this season, and that's making sure Brendan Aronson is staying with Union Berlin. I think he's one of the high points on the team currently. I know he's not had a great season at Union Berlin, but I think he could be a superstar in this rebuild. He could be the central attacking midfielder for the future. So definitely, I want to sign him on a permanent deal. So maybe he's going to take up um, one of our uh, permanent um, signings for this first season. For this first season. He's obviously on loan right now, currently at Union Berlin. But I want to make that permanent, guys. Also, let me know who we should sign, guys. Please let me know who we, who we should sign. I need you guys' help um, with this Rebuild. I hope you guys are all having a great Monday. We got a bunch of people already in the chat. It's super early. It's amazing that you guys are in the chat right now. And also, go check out my recent shorts video. 
um, on YouTube. I just posted it last night, um, or I guess technically early this morning. Um, so check that out if you haven't yet. It's a rebuilding video of Chelsea. I think it was a fun one. You guys might not like some of the decisions I made, but that's why I made them, to create controversy for some of the decisions. Let me know, guys, right now. Who would you rather have, Nicholas Jackson or Rasmus Hoyland? Who would you rather have in the video? I'm not going to tell you. I'll let you guys figure that out for yourselves. But um, we're going to hire an all-out attacking coach, coaches for, wait, all-out coaches for the attacking position. I don't know. I need to go in 15 minutes, but I will be back. No problem, Dominic. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you joining right now. You're a legend. You are a legend. And guys, by the way, I already made all the tactic and tactics and stuff. Um, we are doing gang of pressing. Um, yeah. So we don't have to worry about doing that either. I just want to hire all these coaches real quick. This is the most tedious part of the entire rebuild. Hiring the coaches. Oh, two star? No, four star. There we go. In the midfield. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, Hoyland says a meet sign Beaster or Biester. I still haven't even opened the stream on my phone, guys. Uh, give me a second here. Um, I don't know who Beaster is or Bester. Guys, on the thumbnail, it is Alex Crawl. I think that's his name, right? Alex Crawl. That is who is on the thumbnail currently. And then uh, let's add one more player here or one more coach here for the midfield. Perfect. All right, I think we're good. I think we are solid now, boys. Looks like we are A-okay. Everything's a good. Everything's a go, guys. Please hit that like button real quick so we can get this in the algorithm. Y'all are legends. Thank you for joining me on this Wednesday. It's going to be a good stream. I can already feel it, guys. The last rebuild stream was absolutely electric. If you don't know, it was the Valencia rebuild. And I put in quotes in the thumbnail and title, that was the best rebuild yet. So far, the Valencia rebuild has been the best. And that's what we're chasing so far. Well, that's what we're chasing today, boys. We're chasing to become the I, I'm sorry I'm so tired bro we are chasing the best rebuild stream so far okay we're trying to we're trying to make this the best rebuild stream ever okay um all right this is the team we got cooking right now guys you guys all know Robin goes since the left mid slash left wing back he's gonna be absolutely dominant on this team in real life he's not done too great this year but I think he's gonna be great in this rebuild also Dranovich is pacey he's fast he's got that whipped pass I told him to stay wide in the instructions um, well, I guess I got to fix the instructions. I guess it didn't save. That is crazy. Anyways, Dranovich is going to be crazy. We got Holler back. It's, he is a 22-year-old striker. He's going to be electric. Look at that pace, bro. 85 pace is crazy. I have Voland as a target striker. He's going to be really good. I think an ex-Monaco uh, player. And then Brendan Aronson. This is the player I referenced earlier. I want to make his loan deal permanent. Not going to lie. FC24 has the worst soundtrack. That's why I don't play it. And also, I think I could get copyrighted. But yeah, the, the soundtrack is not very good, Randall. I'm not going to lie. Uh, you're correct about that. New striker, Maximilian Bestra. Oh, Max Bestra. Okay, I think I... I have heard of him um we also got crawl down here Lidoni. i think this formation is sick it's kind of like an inter milan type formation and inter milan is one of the best teams in the world right now and i want to try this formation today boys who remembers dookie in the borussia dortmund career mode guys we're still doing the borussia dortmund career mode uh i just haven't come out with the video in a while but dookie is an absolute baller can't wait to use him on this union berlin team that's gonna be fun and then i have put four players down here at the bottom of the reserves that i plan on selling bedia haber Noche and Kadira. These players are going to help um, improve our transfer budget and stuff like that so that we can uh, sign the players that we want to sign and the players that you guys recommend to me. Okay, so those are the players I do want to add to the transfer list. He has a contract expiring in 11 months, so that is a good idea to sell him. Kadira, also 29 years old. He does not fit my plans. Uh, we have enough CDMs as it is. And plus some young CDMs down here we're going to add to the loan list um, and hopefully loan out so that they can grow this season. We also have Thornsby, who is a pretty decent player at Genoa. He's a Norwegian player. He's going to be pretty good. Side Bruner says Rando. Okay. Uh, Bruner would be good. Brendan Aronson, this is the guy I want to make the deal permanent because after this season, I'm expecting he's going to be like a 78 rated and his market value is probably going to be in the 20 to 25 million range um so i do want to make this a permanent deal right now he's got great potential in the game and in fc24 i think he could be a baller in this career mode so we're gonna make this a permanent deal i'm gonna offer six million maybe with a one percent selling clause just so they don't get up and walk out um he wants jackal in return bro whose name is jackal what's he jacking bro he's got to chill out bro what kind of name is that jackal jackal 
Jekyll? Maybe it's Jekyll. Maybe it's not Jackal. Someone let me know. 6.25 million is a done deal for Brendan Aronson, our first signing of season number one. And yes, this does count as, as a permanent signing and one of our three signings in the first season here. Um, imagine Joe with a low taper fade. Imagine Joe with a low taper fade. It's real. You don't have to imagine it. It is real. It's real. Uh, we're going to give Brendan Aronson an important squad role. He's technically the only attacking midfielder on the squad right now. Um, we're going to give him a five-year deal. His current rage is, wage is pretty high. Uh, 29 thou. No release clause for Brendan Aronson. We're not tripping like that today, boys. Um, this is not Spain. This is not Spain. Uh, we're going to give him a lower wage, but it's still pretty high for the Bundesliga. 25000 a week, and Brendan Aronson is going to accept it. I wish he had a game face in the game. He doesn't, but uh, it is what it is. Guys, please hit that like button so we can get this in the algorithm. I appreciate y'all. I know it's early. I'm expecting a lot of people to join later on. But if you can, hit that like button, guys. I appreciate y'all. Brendan Aronson is in the squad. Our first signing. Let's go. Love to see it, boys. Come on. Let's go. Sue. First Sue of the day. Sue. Sue. The first Sue of the day. First signing of the day from Leeds United, the 22-year-old central attacking midfielder, Brendan Aronson. Uh, we also have this player who's technically on our team, Skarky. I've never used him before. He's on loan right now at Darmstadt. I guess we could use him because we don't have a right midfielder on the squad. We just have Juranovic as a right wing back over there. Uh, we also have this guy. Should I just recall this guy and then sell him? I think that's what we do. I'm going to recall this guy and then add him to the transfer list. Easy way to make some extra cash since we don't have a lot of money right now. Luling looks like a pretty decent player, so we're going to keep him out on loan at Stuttgart, and hopefully he continues to grow over there. Vertessen looks... Dude, he looks like a baller too. I'm not going to lie. We have a lot of strikers on this team, man. Oh my goodness. Vertessen and Holler back at the same age. All right. I'm going to loan one of these guys out. I want you guys to vote right now in the poll. We're going to loan out one of these guys. Who to loan out? Guys, I want you guys to let me know in the poll right now. Should I loan out Hollerbach or should I loan out Vertessen? They both look really good. Both are 22 years old. Vertessen? Vertessen. You guys let me know who we should keep. Or sorry, vote on who we should loan out. Guys, I'm going to vote, of course. I'm going to vote. Oh, this is a tough vote, though. I'm not going to lie. This is a tough vote. Vertessen looks really good, but so does Hollerbach. I, I really like Hollerbach's speed, so I'm thinking that we should keep him. Um, guys, please vote in the comment section if you're in the poll. Uh, okay, it looks like two votes. Vertessen, I did I did vote Vertessen. We're going to keep Hollerbach. Okay, bet. Uh, Amit says Vertessen, Vertessen, bet, bet, bet. Thank you guys for voting. Thank you guys for voting. I appreciate y'all. I know it's early, guys. People are going to watch this back. Um, and there's going to be a lot of people that watch this back, so... You guys are watching this early. Legends to you. So we're going to loan out for Tessin, guys. We're going to keep him on the squad. Um, I don't want to sell him right now because I think if he can grow his overall to like a, like a 78 by season two, he could definitely be useful next season. Um, so I think that's a good idea. Then we're going to loan out Kaufman as well. Transfer list him. Transfer list this guy as well. And then keep Voland. I think he could be a baller for us this season, at least this first season. And uh, I don't want to spend money on a new striker this season. I want to go ahead and sign a new center back because Vogt is getting pretty old. I'm not going to lie. He's getting really old. Um, so I think it's time to kick him to the curb. I'm not going to lie. It's time to kick him to the curb. What center backs should we sign, boys? Who should we sign? I heard Bruner. I don't think he's a center back, but I heard Bruner. We're going to find him here. Cedric Bruner. He's a right back. From Schalke, looks pretty good. He looks pretty good. Let's see here. What's going on? Hold on, let me save this game and go back in, guys. It's six in the UK. Amit, that is a perfect time. Then that, that is good. That is really good. I know we don't get very many uh, UK people to watch the channel. Not as many as I would like. Um, but yeah, that's my goal. That's my goal to get more UK people to watch the channel and to, uh, to care about the channel. Jake is in the building. What's up, Jake? I appreciate you joining, bro. Jake, you were in early, bro. We are streaming early today. We're not usually this early. I'm usually streaming like three hours later than this, but, um, I had a pretty chill day today. I had a pretty chill, chill day. I woke up at the usual time, um, cause my body won't let me sleep in, I guess. And then I, I went and ran. And then did some work at home. And then now I'm here. 
So this is awesome. I am opening up the live editor here um, so that I can see player ratings and stuff. Cool, 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 cool. Getting the game back on, getting the game back on. I'm in the Discord, says Jake. Jake, thank you for joining the Discord, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Two. Jake is in the Discord. Guys, that reminds me. <sighs> I wanted to save this conversation for later, but you guys know how many people that we had wanting their own player in these or during the sporting juniors career mode i'm considering starting a membership program on the youtube channel i don't know what the minimum payment would be like one dollar a month if it's one dollar a month i'll make it one dollar a month if it's five dollars a month i might make it five dollars a month um that's kind of a lot um i wouldn't want to make you guys pay five bucks a month to be a member of the channel but i'm thinking since there were so many players that wanted to be on sporting juniors and i couldn't give everyone a chance to really get gameplay or anything like that um i'm considering just doing a membership and people who join the membership get a player or also join the discord too uh but yeah definitely i'm considering doing that guys let me know if you guys would be okay with that would you guys be willing to pay one dollar a month i'm not sure if that's the minimum or not i haven't looked into it that far uh, but just considering there has there was so many people in the last sporting juniors that wanted a player in the game I'm considering doing that guys. Let me know in the, let me know in the chat what you guys think about that George is in the building What's up George absolute dubs and George won his match 2-0. Let's go George. I'm sorry that Newcastle didn't beat Chelsea the other day um, But I'm glad that your team won. Your team made up for it. That's awesome, bro. I'm not able to jo join. I'm 13, says Jake. Jake says he wouldn't be able to join the membership because he's 13. Is there a age limit? I didn't know that there was an age limit. Um, okay, so that's something I definitely need to look into, guys. There was just so many people uh, last season that I just felt bad. Couldn't, I couldn't give them game time. Um, and plus, <laughs> plus, that would limit the... People, like, I hate to say it, Harrison McCormick was asking, like, for me to make three of his brothers and stuff. I don't know if he actually has brothers or not. So that would be able to cut out people trying to make other players for themselves. So that's just my whole thought process, guys. Thought process, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, cool. Bet, bet, bet. And I scored two. George scored two goals. George, that's an absolute dub from you. Awesome stuff, guys. I need a center back in the squad. We already made one signing this season, and that was Brendan Aronson. What center back should we sign this season, guys, to pair up with our boy, Dookie and Jackal? Jackal. We got Paris Bruner, the striker from Dortmund. I guess we can loan him in. He's kind of low rated. I'm not going to lie, Rando, but he could be a good player. Bro, Jake the Snake from WWE. Yes, sir. Make one player free, and if you want extra, you have to pay. Okay, I guess we could do that, Rando. Uh, that's definitely an option. Okay, if you want an extra player, you have to pay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, I can't get a job, and my mom won't allow me to buy the membership. Okay, Jake, that is fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Thank you guys for your input. Um, okay, that's good input, guys, so thank you for that. Um, I need a center back. I need a good center back, boys. Let me know if you have anybody in mind. We need a German player, though. I'm thinking a German center back. That would be fire, man. Um, Cedric Bruner would be a good squad player to have. Paris Bruner, uh, we would have to loan him in because he just moved to Dortmund, so we would have to loan him in. All right, let's look for a center back, fellas. A center back for this Union Berlin squad that can take us to the next level. I'm thinking anywhere from 17 to 25 years old. Let's look in the German Bundesliga first. Tia, oh my god, imagine we brought Tia back to the Bundesliga. That would be amazing. Yeah, that would be sick. Bornau would be good from Wolfsburg. Um, who else do we have here? Chabot, Collins, Decure, Henchapi. No, he's worth way too much, guys. Our budget is only 25 million. Of course, after we sell some players, it's probably going to be around the 35 million range. How about Ozan Kabak? Ozan Kabak would be good. Um, he is Turkish. He's not German. So that's a little bit uh, different than what I'm looking for. Maxence Lacroix would be fun, but he is French. Lukeba is French as well. Hmm. I would love a German player. Paco. Pacho. The Ecuadorian looks pretty good. Left footed too. He looks pretty nice. Okay. Schlotterbeck. German, but too expensive. Simicon would be good. Too expensive. Tapsaba. The Burkina Faso. Is that how you say it? 
Tuta would be fun. Okay. And he's pretty cheap, too. Tuta's pretty cheap. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, let me look up the players that you guys recommended. Tia. Tia would be awesome, bro. If I can bring him back, I think I'll do that. And if he's cheap enough. 22 million, we might be able to do it, guys. We just might be able to do it. 31 to 25 million. Let's make some player sales, and then let's bring in the German center back. That's a really good recommendation, Rando. I appreciate you recommending that, man. I think that is perfect, and I think that could work. That could definitely work. Um, I got some other center backs here, but I think Tia is definitely the one with the highest potential and the one that checks off all the boxes for us. Okay, so let's sim a couple of days and get some player offers in the building. We got a, we got a Jacko offer here. I want to keep him as a squad depth kind of player. Uh, no other offers yet. Let's sell somebody. Vertessa loan offer from Aston Villa. Yeah, let's delegate this. That's a perfect place for him. I think they play two strikers in the game too under Una Emery. So that's pretty good. Nook, we're going to accept this deal from OGC Nice, the French club. That is perfect right there. OGC Nice right now, by the way, guys, might be the next team that we rebuild because they are in shambles right now. They are in shambles right now. Their own fan base the ultras i don't know what their name is but the ultras the ultra fans of ogc nice got in a fight with with john claire todibo after the match john claire todibo had some words for the ultras and the ultras had some words back for him it's not looking good john claire todibo is definitely uh probably on his way out i know manchester united want him um he's a center back by the way if you guys don't know uh french center back for ogc nice nice is in peril they're, they're having a tough time, man. They're definitely having a tough time. We're going to sell this guy to Frankfurt. Schneitz, we're going to loan out to Villarreal B. Kaufman, we are going to loan out to Mutrin Gladbach. And Rano is our goalkeeper. I do not want to sell him this season, boys. So we're going to block that offer from Sporting. Hey, Duck Oreo is in the building. What's up, Duck? I appreciate you joining, bro. I know it's early, but I really appreciate you guys joining. Y'all are legends. Absolute dubs to you. I'm trying to bring the energy today, boys, but I am so tired. You can see that my eyes are pretty red right now. Super tired. Um, but we have just sold our first player and we already signed one player that was Brendan Aronson. Now we've sold our first player, Robin Noka, Noka, Noka. And now we have 21 million in the bank. We had 25 million that we signed Brendan Aronson. Okay. We need, we need to make some other player sales. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah. Vertessen's going to be loaned out to Aston Villa. Ingolberth to Gerard Piquet's club, FC Andorra. That is perfect, guys. Please hit that like button so we can get this in the algorithm. We're rebuilding Union Berlin. Let's go. Sign Steragoo, says Rando. Rando, I appreciate you joining today, bro. Um, I feel like I've missed you the last few streams, um, but I really appreciate you coming back and uh, not giving up on me, bro. Steragoo is a Swiss center back from a Swiss team. I think that's FC St. Hallen or Gallen. Uh, three and a half million right footed. Whoa, check out his pace. 85 ready pace. He could be really good. I really like that. His defensive rating is pretty low, but honestly, he looks like a baller. I'm not going to lie. Only 21 years old. Maybe he's a wonder kid, man. I've never heard of him, but uh, definitely these rebuilds are the time to try new players. Kadira, we're going to get an offer here from him, from Galatasaray for him, and I'm going to negotiate this to get as much cash as possible because I need at least 30 million in the bank if I want to sign our boy Malik Tiao. That is the goal right now, to sign Malik Tiao. 9 million, and Galatasaray is going to accept. That is perfect. Kaufman is going to accept his Mooch and Gladbach loan. Let's freaking go. I got to go play a Fortnite tournament with my friends, but I'll rewatch the stream. No problem, Dunk Oreo. I appreciate you joining, man, and making a uh, making an appearance, bro. You're a legend. You're awesome, bro. Um, GI with the rebuild. Good luck. Oh, Gio, good luck with the rebuild. Thank you, Dunk Oreo. Legend, bro. Legend status right there. Just sold our second player. Jordan Sibachu. Hey, and good luck to you on your Fortnite tournament, Dunk Oreo. I hope you get that dub, bro. Go get dubs. Um, what is that Fortnite song? It was a meme. There was a Fortnite song that was a meme. Uh, we play Fortnite? No. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember the song, but some kid made a, a song. A Fortnite song. Hey, Fortnite. Let's go. Fortnite, 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 Fortnite. For, no, no, number one victory royale. Fortnite's about to get down. Something like that. Get down. It's something like that, guys. I, I think I just remembered it. Uh, this about to be a fire rebuild. Yes, right now it's about to be a fire rebuild. I'm not going to lie. The Valencia rebuild was awesome. I think we're finally figuring out how to um, 
go about a good rebuild, man. The first few rebuilds were a little bit long, um, and parts of them were kind of boring. I'm not gonna lie. The Everton and the, especially the Ajax one and the Juventus one was honestly not too good either. Uh, but I think we've started to figure it out. I think the one signing per season from the country that we're currently rebuilding in um, has definitely added a different dimension to this rebuild uh, series. So I think that is a, an awesome thing. We got another offer from Kadira here. It's from Juventus. <laughs> speak of Juventus. Speak of the devil. Uh, we're going to reject this offer. I would just rather him accept the Galatasaray offer real quick here so we can get that money in the bank. I need to sign Malik Tao. I need Malik Tao, bro. That was the perfect option. I didn't even think of him. Rando, absolute dubs to you, bro, um, because he would be the perfect signing for this team. Nine million back in the bank, boys, and we have 20. No, we have 35 million in the bank, and now we should definitely be able to sign the German center back Malik Tiao from AC Milan. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. All right, Pioli, what you got for me, bro? Don't be stingy with this offer here. I'm going to offer. I don't want him to walk out. I'm going to offer 25 million. That's a pretty good deal, bro. You know what? We're going to do 20, 22 million, 23 million plus 2%. 23 million plus 2% is a pretty good offer. I'm not going to lie. Pioli, what do you say? 24 million with 15%. That's not a bad counter. Okay, that's not a bad counter. I don't plan on selling him, so let's just lower the price. 23.5 million plus a 15% sell-on clause, and Pioli accepts it, and our second signing of this rebuild is officially in, and our first center back, our first German player is in the squad. It is Malik Tiao, the German center back, um, ex Wolfsburg player, he is now coming back to the Bundesliga, and uh, he's going to be paired up with Danilo Duki. and uh, Lete is our other center back. So this is going to be quite the center back trio. It's going to be pretty awesome, man. Uh, we need a new nickname for them. We definitely need a nickname for these guys. He's making 36000 a week right now. Now he's going to be making 30000 a week. Let's go. Malik Tiao is in the building, boys. Two. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I had to get TL for like 30 mils. Uh, Joe, you're a good negotiator. I had to get TL for 30 mils. Rando, are you playing with me right now? Bro, you guys should be rebuilding Berlin the same time I am. Or whatever team I'm rebuilding that day, you should be rebuilding them the same time I am. You don't have to do the same players and stuff, but uh, it'd be interesting if you guys like signed other players and you guys do better or you guys do worse. And it'd be cool if you guys let me know. That, that would be really cool, man. Um, but yeah, I am a pretty good negotiator. I appreciate it, bro. Um, I appreciate that. Malik Tiao in the building. Vogt is going to come off the bench now as a backup center back. Love that. And now we have great squad depth. Um, since Dookie's physicality is much higher, he's at an 82 physicality compared to Tiao's 75. We're going to put Dookie in the middle. And since Tiao's pace is quite a bit faster than Dookie's 74 to 64, we're going to play Tiao on the right side. Um, yeah, that's what I like to see. Leite is a left-footed center back, so I like him on the left side. He's only 24 years old, 76 rated. So, guys, we have 76, 78, 77 on the center back line. That is amazing. Now, I think I want to go for a defensive midfielder. Laiduni is 26 years old, um, so he's not the youngest guy, and he doesn't have great potential. So, now I need a central defensive middle. Oh, my God! Central defensive midfielder. Oh, my God! Uh, Mo is in the chat. Three. Mo, we have finally streamed at the time that you can watch, bro. That is amazing. You're an absolute legend, Mo. I appreciate you joining the chat, bro. Um, I do plan on selling some more players here. So hopefully we can up our budget even more in the future here. Um, so that we can sign a new center defensive midfielder. For real, bro. Yo, it's Mo. Mo is in the chat. Mo, that is so fire, bro. So fire. I'm so glad you're here. We lost our preseason match against Valencia. Three. That's kind of ironic because we just did a Valencia rebuild, the last rebuild stream. Um, so that's kind of funny. I would like to sell some more players here, but I'm not getting any offers, guys. I need you guys to let me know in the comments who is a central defensive midfielder that we can sign for this Dortmund club. It doesn't have to be a German... Sorry, for this Dortmund club. Sorry. Um, sorry, guys. I was, uh, I was editing a Dortmund video last night. Uh, so that's on my mind. Also, Paris Bruner is on my mind, too. Shout out, Rando, for that recommendation. Um... For this Union Berlin club, we need a central defensive midfielder. It doesn't have to be a German player because we already signed a German player in this season. 
Um, who is on an expiring contract? We definitely have to new, uh, negotiate some new contracts. Your crawl, we definitely want to keep him. He's the future of this this midfield. Um, and then Badia, we are going to be selling. He is on the transfer list, so yeah. Cool beans, cool beans, cool beans. Who else could I sell here? He's good squad depth. I don't want to sell him. Vote, Dookie, Leite, Jackal, Malik Tiao. Guys, that is a really good quintuplet of center backs. Tiao, Jackal, Leite, Dookie, and Vote. That is a really good quintuplet. Uh, a mix of young players and experienced players. I think that's perfect. Prati and Larson. Oh, Lavia, Chukwezi. W, you guys, bro. W, recommendations. Mm. Lavia, we might be able to loan in, actually. That could be a really good signing. We might be able to loan in him. Interesting. I like that option. I really like that option. Um, okay, I'm thinking about selling Haberer. I'm going to add him to the transfer list. I am going to recall Thornsby from loan. Um, that reminds me, guys. I do need to do uh, player um, uh, development plans so that we can grow this season and reach our potentials. So I need to do this. Brandon Harrison's going to grow really quick, man. He's going to be a star in that midfield for us. Um, that's why I wanted to make that a permanent deal. Hollerback is going to be really good. Let's turn on his poach. No, mobile striker development plan since he's going to be getting in behind the defense with his speed. Awesome. Rusellian. Gosens. I can't believe Gosens is on Union Berlin and they're doing this bad. Gosens is a really good player. I feel like he hasn't been a world-class player in a few years i think he was world-class on atalanta um in like 2016 when he was on germany um but yeah it's been a while it's been a while since he's been that kind of player dranovich is gonna be good the ex celtic player he was really good for celtic um and he's got a lot of pace he's got good shooting as well so i think he could be a really good right midfielder i wonder if i can change him to an official right mid let me try can I change him to a right mid? Uh, it's going to take 58 weeks. How about how about our boy Gozens? Can I make him a left mid? 38 weeks. It could happen, but we're just going to keep training him as a left wing back. Cool. Sajith is in the building. Doug Oreo is back. And CISO also on back. LOL. Let's go. Y'all are legends, bro. Right now, we need a defensive midfielder. We already signed two players. We get one more player, and I'm going to look them up right now. We see Lavia, Chukwameka. Um, those are great recommendations, guys. This is already a dub of a rebuild. Y'all are legends, man. I wonder... Ooh, he's not that expensive, but I know he just moved to Chelsea, so it's going to be tough to sign him. Uh, we would definitely have to loan him in, but I think it could happen. Um, we got a couple of Chukwamekas. No, just one Chukwameka. Um, I was thinking of Chukwazi. He's a central attacking midfielder. He could be good squad depth, like as a backup to Brendan Aronson. He could be nice to loan in. A uh, Busquets. Oh, my God. Imagine we signed Busquets. Sajith. Sajith, you animal, bro. He, I think he just moved to Inter Miami, though. 83 rated. Only 10 million. We might be able to sign him. That would bring the experience into, into the squad. This first season, I want to get top five at least this season. Win Sporting Juniors. I want to see it live, says Mo. We ended the Sporting Juniors in Spain, Mo. We ended it in Spain. Uh, but we're going to be starting a new one in two weeks. And it's either going to be in the Bundesliga or it's going to be in the Serie A. The Bundesliga won the votes. But I know that Shea was hopping on the burner accounts to vote. Um, so maybe Syria is what we're actually going to do. I haven't made my mind up yet, but we are making new kits and a new crest. It's going to be electric. Um, I'm sorry if you enjoyed the La Liga Sporting Juniors, but it just wasn't working out, which was unfortunate, man. We just couldn't win a game. We just couldn't win a game. There was something going on, man. Something really going on. Um, and that was really unfortunate. Matteo Prati looks like a prodigy. Central defensive midfielder, 73 rated Italian from Cagliari. I love that. That is awesome. And make me play, LOL. Bundesliga will be fun. Yes, Mo, definitely. Um, I'll uh, try to get you more game time this season. And hopefully, I feel like your potential has really been killing you the last couple of uh, sporting juniors. The last two sporting juniors, your potential was really bad, Mo. Um, obviously, you guys know I, I, I randomized it from 75 to 95. And Mo's been getting like 76 and like, I think he was like an 81 last season. And then he stopped. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully this time it'll be better. Uh, transfer hub and CISO. And CISO would be good as a central attacking midfielder. Or I guess he could play left mid, but he doesn't defend at all. And I like my wingers to come back and play defense, especially in the formation that we're in. That's why I like Gosens and Juranovic over there. Uh, but and CISO could be good in the future. 
Um, if Brendan Aronson doesn't work out and CISO could be awesome. Joe, I'm about to sign two more players. Tell me when you're about to sim. Bet Rando. Sounds good, bro. Um, I think Prati looks like an amazing player. Lavia also looks good. So basically, let's just see who we can sign. Uh, Busquets, I can't sign. Lavia, I'd have to loan. And Prati looks like he just moved to Cagliari and I can't loan him in. Does he have a release clause? Nope. Doesn't look like Prati's going to happen, guys. Can I loan in Lavia? Doesn't look like they're interested in loaning him out. So that's not going to work. Can I loan in Busquets? Didn't think so. All right. Hoybier. Ooh. Ooh. Hoybier would bring that experience. I like that. I like that shout right there. Emil Hoybier. 31 million. He is pretty expensive. I don't think I would be able to loan him in either. Um, I like that shout, though. I like that shout. I'm, I'm looking at somebody either from like 73 to 75 rated. Somewhere around there. You guys have anybody else? I'm doing a Berlin rebuild at the same time you are. That's awesome, Rando. Like I said, bro, that is awesome. Amazing. Bundesliga will be fun. I, yeah, Bundesliga would be fun. Um, I think a lot of goals would be scored in that Sporting Juniors career mode. That would be awesome. Um, what about Ugo Chukwu? Could I loan him in? I know he just signed with Chelsea. He's got really good defensive stats, even though he's not technically a CDM. Could I loan him in? Nope, can't loan him in either. Damn, bro, they're making this really difficult. What about somebody else? I need another DM, guys. I need another DM here. Wait, I will tell you, Rod. Uh, Mo, I need somebody else. Central defensive midfielder. This is going to be our last signing of this season. Signed Sergi Roberto. Bajasetic. What is Bajasetic's uh, overall? I feel like he's not very high rated, is he? James Garner would be good. I like that shout. Billy Gilmore. Okay. Um, Joao Gomes, Hinchelwood's a pretty good player. Joao Gomez would be really good, but he's kind of expensive. Uh, Kobe Mainu. Okay, Vermeer would be good. Uh, let me look him up in a second. Um, where's Bajasetic? Oliver Skip would be good as well. We'll transfer hub him. Onana, okay. Lavia, Gilmore. I don't see Bajasetic. Why don't I see Bajasetic? That is interesting. Uh, let me look them up here. Guys, please, if you haven't yet, please hit that like button so we can get this out in the algorithm. I know it's early right now, um, and some people aren't able to join. They're in school or whatever. Oh, Bajasetic is a 72 rated on Wolfsburg. I wonder if he just moved there. He just moved there. He does have a release clause, though, so that would be interesting. He would have been perfect, though. He's a 72 rated. That would have been awesome. All right, let me look up Vermeer. Me versus you. Who's the better manager? Rando. That is what we're going to see here. That's what we're going to see. Um, I'll let you know when I start simming. Vermeer. I just want to get one more player in. Uh, Arthur. Oh, Vermeer in. 76 rated on Atletico. I'm pretty sure he just moved to Atletico, though, so I don't know if that's going to work. Joe, I'm streaming my version on the Discord. Okay, bet, Rando. That's actually sick. That's actually sick. Okay, bet. I better step up my game today. I better step up my game today. Um, hmm. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sign Vermeeren. He is awesome. He's got great potential. Yeah, his release clause is too high. Guys, we only have $10 million in the bank. James Gardner would be awesome. I would love to sign him. Ugo Chukwu can't get him in. I think it's going to be... At, I think it's going to have to be James Gardner, guys. Oh, Nana would be good. The Everton player. Um, okay. So let's sim a little bit more, guys. And then let's sell... Hopefully get a, an offer for somebody and sell them. Got a tie against Atafi there. Oh, Nana from Everton. Zambo and Gisa. Okay, Sajid, I'm not going to lie. I watched the Napoli game yesterday, guys. I also watched the uh, the Arsenal match against Porto. Zambo and Gisa in the Napoli match really underwhelmed me. I had been a Zambo and Gisa fan. You guys know I have a soft spot for Napoli. Zambo and Gisa really was underwhelming yesterday. One of the goals that Barcelona scored, it was the rebound off the post that Joao Cancelo scored. Zambo and Gisa did not hustle back at all. And he really just stood and watched Joao Cancelo um, uh, finished the, the goal. And Zambo and Gisa just stood at the top of the box. And I, honestly, it was really embarrassing, bro. Really embarrassing. Um, so that was unfortunate. Um, other players, Lepinot as well. Lepinot's really good. He's on Olympic Lyonnaise. Lyon, Olympic Lyon. Haberer transfer offer. This is going to be really important, guys. I need to get as much cash as possible for this Haberer transfer deal. Um... So that we can hopefully have enough money to sign somebody like James Gardner or even uh, Onana. One of those Everton players. 7.3 million. Man, should I have gone for more? 
I think I should have gone for more, but it is what it is. Uh, 7.3 mil million for Haberer. They're going to accept that. That is awesome. And then uh, we have another preseason match here against Cadiz. We're just going to quick sim using the starters. Mm. It's a 3-2 loss. Hollerbach and Brendan Aronson on the score sheet, guys. Um, I'm not taking this too seriously. I still have to do the instructions, and then uh, and then we will send them, of course. Uh, another Haberer transfer offer. It's VFL Wolfsburg, 6.5 million. I don't want to sell him to a rival. That is a no-go. Barca one says Sajith. Yep, Visca Barca, bro. Um, even though I was rooting for Napoli, of course. You guys know I like the Serie A. Uh, I don't mind Barca. Um, I just would rather have the Serie A teams win and do good. Um, Dookie transfer offer from Frankfurt. They are offering the center back that we transfer hubbed, actually. Tuta, the Brazilian. Uh, but, nope. I want to stick with Dookie. I think he's going to be awesome. This trans this uh, rebuild. Um, so, I'm going to block offers for him. Thank you guys so much for joining. This has been awesome already. Not every season is going to be this long. Um, it's just we had a bunch of... It's uh, the first season. You got a bunch of uh, logistics to go over. And uh, selling a lot of players, selling the dead weight. And that's what we're doing right now. Haber is out to Galatasaray for 7.3 million. We could have gotten 8.3 million for the deal, but somehow we still got an A, which is very interesting. That's my A right there. Um, and now we have in the budget 16 million. Now let's go for one of the defensive midfielders, either Onana or James Garner. For me personally, I want to go for James Garner. Um, he's going to be cheaper than Onana. Oliver Skip would also be good too. I'm going to let you guys vote. Should we go for Skip, Gardner, or Onana? Oliver Skip is the highest rated player of these options. I'm going to let you guys vote in the poll here. If none of these work, then we will go for Lepinon. Lepinon would be really good. Which Siri thinks I'm talking to her, bro? I'm not talking to you, bro. No, Siri, I'm not talking to you. Which CDM should we sign? Which CDM should we sign, guys? Let me know in the poll right now. I'm going to put up Oliver Skip. 77 rated James Gardner 75 rated or um is it Amadou Dia no, no no not Diallo uh Amadou Onana something like that um the Everton player I think he's a 76 rated guys vote in the poll please I'm gonna vote for I'm gonna vote for James Gardner personally I'm gonna vote for James Gardner you guys vote in the poll um I think he would be awesome and I think that we could probably get him in from Tottenham um, okay, so right now we are at, sorry, no, I, I'm going to vote for Skip. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to vote for Skip. That's who I voted for. My bad. Um, he's the highest rated player. We can probably get him in for Tottenham, from Tottenham. Vote in the chat, boys. Vote, 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 vote. I appreciate y'all, man. Hit that vote button. Boom. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. 50% skip now. 25% Garner. 25% Onana. Okay, I know there's more of you in here than that, but I'm going to go with Oliver Skip for now. Um, cool. We're going to try and sign Skip. Love it, guys. Thank you for voting. And as we said, I think Onana, because he is young, he is young, but so is Oliver Skip. You know what? Let me look up Onana real quick. Oh, it is Amadou D Onana. I'm a genius, bro. 76 rated. He's only worth 11 million, and he's 21. Okay, maybe he could be good. He does have better defensive stats than stats than James Garner, by the way. So that could be good. Let me look up Lepinot real quick. Oh, Enzo Lefay would be nice, but he doesn't play DM. He's a, he's an attacking midfielder. Lepinot's a 73, and he's cheap, but his defensive stats aren't good. 69 defensive stats are not that good, I'll be honest. Um, and Varela. Let me look up Varela. I think he's got pretty good potential too. Varela, Alan Varela, 22 years old from Porto. He looks pretty solid, I'm not going to lie. And he's got the best defensive stats out of all these guys. Oh, those are really good options. Mo, really good job, man. Really good options. We're going to get rid of Hoybier, Busquets. Uh, we're going to get rid of um, Ugo Chukwu. Okay, so it's between these guys. Vera Mintu, we can't get him in. Too expensive. Varela just joined Porto. Not going to be able to get him in. That's unfortunate. Um, Onan is going to be pretty cheap. This is tough. This is tough. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm not going to lie. This is tough. We got Skip. 74 defensive rating, and he's a bruiser. Slide tackle trait as well. I really like that. 74 defense and 79 physical from Onana and his 
attacking prowess looks better and he's a he's a year younger and he's six feet four inches tall you know what i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go for onana i'm going for onana we're doing it sign kubrasi kubrasi is a young dare i say wonder kid for barcelona uh center back you know what i've changed my mind guys i think mo has persuaded me to go with the young central defensive midfielder from everton onana i think you have persuaded me mo he looks like the best player stats wise and uh i think we can get him in here for 14 million let's go our third and final signing amadou di i keep saying diallo there is an amadou diallo but amadou onana the central defensive midfielder from everton important squad role yes freaking sir five-year deal yes sir that lines up with all of our other wonder kids on the team like aronson um tl guys what a transfer window we only had 25 million to start with and we made the Aronson deal permanent. And after that, we pretty much had like 17 million left. We signed Malik Tiao. And now we've signed Amadou Onana. Two wonder kids, if you ask me. I think that is amazing. We get a C for this deal. I guess we could have gotten him for 11 million. Whatever. W Po. Yes, W Po. W Po. Let's go. Appreciate that, Mo. All right, let's put Onana in the starting lineup. Yeah, he's for sure going to be a starter. Laiduni is going to be moved to the uh, backup CDM position. And now we have great squad depth because now we have Tussart and Laiduni as backup DMs. Love that. Uh, Trimble's going down. No big deal, though. Thornsby is also back. He looks better than Schaefer, I'm not going to lie. Um, so we're going to keep him in the bench or on the bench. Um, I do still have Badia on the transfer list. So if we can get an offer for him, we're going to sell him. Uh, I just haven't gotten any offers for him yet. Um, then we do have a backup goalkeeper. We have two backup goalkeepers. I think we are solid, boys. I think we are solid. We are in the Champions League this season as well. Um, we're going to change some training plans. Goalkeepers, all out performance for show. For show. Onana for show here. Performance focused, performance focused. Since Gozens is older, we're going to have him as balanced. Same with Juranovic. Then all of these guys on the bench, all out performance, bro. We need them to be ready to come into matches because uh, they're not going to be starting every game. And then we need to give Onana a new development plan as well. And then we will be good to sim. So we made three signings in this summer transfer window. First season, we signed Brendan Aronson on a permanent transfer. We signed Malik Tiao, the AC Milan center back, on a permanent transfer for about $24 million plus a sell-on clause. Um, and now we have signed on Amadou. I almost said Andre Onana. Amadou Onana. God, I got to figure that out. Amadou Onana from Everton. Let's go. Showing great potential too. This is amazing, guys. Let me know in the chat, guys, what you guys think. Where you think we're going to place in this first season. Let me know what you guys think. We're going to go to the calendar here. Let me save the game first. Just in case it crashes during the, uh, the, the simming or something. And then let's go to the calendar. And let's start simming. All the way until the end of the year, boys. All the way until the end of the year. Let's cook. We get our first dub. It's 2-0 against Mainz. Until, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I forgot to do instructions. My God, my bad. Now, nah, Rando, Joe, I signed Neuer in my version. Nah, that's crazy, bro. Maybe I should sign Neuer. What am I doing, bro? I got Rano as my goalkeeper. He's a 78. He's not bad. But honestly, I feel like Neuer would be better. Uh, I got to do this here. Uh, drift wide and get in behind for Hollerback with his pace. His, his pace is killer, so we definitely got to keep him um, uh, going drifting wide and getting in behind the defense for show. Voland, I want him to come back on defense, stay central, target player for show, aggressive interceptions, and come back on defense to be a uh, support man. And then Brendan Aronson, come back on defense, of course, get into the box, free roam, aggressive interceptions, Dranovic. Come back on defense, of course, and then stay wide. And then a target player, aggressive interceptions. Get into the box, why not? Crawl, crawl, tight mark, get forward, aggressive interceptions, deep line playmaker, cover the center, Onana. Drift wide, cover the wing, cut passing lanes. You know what? No, tight mark, since he's so physical, tight mark. Uh, get forward, aggressive interceptions, late stay back. Aggressive, step up. Dookie, step up. 
aggressive. And then Tiao, I want him playing as a striker late in the matches. If we're losing or we're tied or something, he can come up and get a header off a corner kick or something like that. Aggressive interceptions and step up. And then, of course, comfort crosses, sweeper keeper um, for our goalkeeper. And then Gozins, I want him to come back on defense, of course, since he's a left wing back. Um, cut inside. No, we'll, we'll do free roam. And then get in behind. No, no, no. Target player, aggressive interceptions, get into the box. And then actually, that reminds me, Dredovic, get in behind. Perfect. So he can overlap Voland since Voland is a target player. That is perfect, guys. Let's see. Let's scout some players for the Youth Academy. Let's look at the Youth Academy real quick here. Um, God, the Youth Academy sucks, bro. Every time. Guys, I didn't get like the $100 version of FC24. I got the normal version. And the $100 version comes with a homegrown talent every single season or like every single rebuild at the start. I've never gotten that before. Uh, Boltron looks like the best player. He's 15 years old. He's a left midfielder, which is good, I guess. Um, but let's get his defense up so he can play that left mid position because I need our, our wingbacks to, uh, to get back on defense 100%. All right, guys, time to officially quick sim. Let's go. Let's do it, bro. Let's do it, bro. Let's do it. Big dope against Leipzig. Let's go. Let's cook, man. Let's freaking cook. Tied Wolfsburg. We just beat Real Madrid in the Champions League, boys. I think in real life, Union Berlin lost. Somebody fact check me. I think they got third in their group. I think they got grouped in the Champions League. They had a tough group. They had Napoli and Real Madrid. That's a tough group. We just lost to Napoli. Just tied Werder Bremen. One in the DFB Pokal. Just beat Napoli in the return fixture. The reverse leg. Lost to Bayer Leverkusen. Okay, you know what? So-so. We're not doing that bad. Just beat Augsburg. Nice. Just tied Braga. Just tied Bayern Munich. It's not looking too bad right now, guys. I'm not going to lie. I do wish we won some more games. Just lost to Madrid. Um, it's going to be tough to make it out of this group. I don't think we did, to be honest. I honestly don't think we did. Uh, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Joe, did I... Joe, I did the rebuild the same as yours, and I got fourth. George is doing the rebuild, too. Let's go. George and Rando both doing the rebuild. Rando, I forgot to let you know that we are quick simming. I'm sure you can see it. Uh, but yeah, we, oh, it looks like we did move on. Past the group stage, we got Atletico Madrid, and we won our first match. At home, we won the first match. Atletico Madrid, the reverse fixture. We win. We move on to the next round, the quarterfinals of the Champions League. We have built an up-and-coming team. One of Europe's best up-and-coming teams. And we have Galatasaray and we win. How did Galatasaray make it that far? We're in the semifinals of the Champions League. And we have Benfica. This might be the easiest. Oh my god, we're going to be in the final. This must be... We won 7-4. This has to be the easiest path to the final of all time. No way. We're in the Champions League final. And it's against Inter Milan. Oh no. Oh, don't show this. Don't show this. Don't show this. No. No. Don't get me copyrighted. Don't get me copyrighted. Please don't. Okay, guys, we're in the Champions League final. This is the most absurd start to a rebuild ever. This could be the end of the rebuild right here. We're going to play it. We're going to play it. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let's go. You guys know how difficult it's been for me to even make the final of the Champions League in, in the past rebuilds we've done. No, this is absolutely freaking epic. Freaking epic, bro. This is epic. We're in the Champions League final first Three. season. Two. Champions League final first mother effing season, bro. I, I don't even know what to do, bro. I don't know what to do. We're definitely playing. The hell is going on? I don't know, Sajid, but we have built a machine. Let's take a look at the team real quick. 75 rated Hollerbach, 79 rated Volland. This is why I wanted to make that Aronson signing permanent because he's a 78 now and he's probably worth 30 million. So we got him for 7 million, better than getting him for 30 million. Gozins has gone up to an 80, even though he's old. Onana has gone up to an 80. Kral, 79. Dranovic, 77. TL, 80. He hasn't grown that much. Duki's only grown two. Leite's grown two as well. But the bench looks pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. We have done something special. I think we figured it out, guys. This is the formation. It's OP because Inter Milan also plays a similar formation to this. It's OP in the game. OP is... Oh, uh, as shit, bro. OP as shit. Come on. 
Let's look at the squad hub. Let's see how many goals are... Who, who's our top goal scorer right now? It's Valen. 17 goals and 6 assists. Robin Gosens, are you kidding me? Bro is world class again. He is world class again. 14 goals and 4 assists from the left mid position. Hollerbeck, 13 and 6. Really smart of me as the manager to play him up a little higher. Someone tell Rando, bro. Rando is so mad, I'm not going to lie. Rando's got to be so mad because he... There's no way he made the Champions League final first season. No way. Badia off the bench, 12 goals. Good thing we didn't sell him. I wanted to sell him. We didn't sell him. Brendan Aronson, 7-10, top assister. 5-1 from Thornsby. 4-3 from Crawl. 2-0 from Dookie. 2 goals from Leite. 2-4 from Onana. Malik Tiao, 1 goal as well. I mean, this team was cracked. This team is actually cracked. For Tessens up to a 76 on Lona Aston Villa. Luling up to a 75. Oh my god, this is the best season of all time. This is the best season I have ever done. Like, Dooney's up to a 78, and he's not even playing that much. Jackal's up to a 75, only played 20, 20 matches. We're in the Champions League final, Rando. We are legit in the Champions League final. That confuses me, though. How did we do in the Bundesliga? We got 7th in the Bundesliga, so we focused solely on the Champions League. I'll take it, you know what? We're not going to be in the Champions League or any European competition if we don't win this Champions League final against Inter. Bro, look at Bayern Munich. They went invincible. 26 wins, 8 draws, no losses, 86 points in 34 match days. That's crazy. Uh, we got 51 points in 34 match days, 13, 12, and 9. 52 goals for, 50 goals against. DFB Pokal, Bayern wins the double. We lost in the semis to this Regensburg, Regensburg team. Now, this is the craziest start to a rebuild ever. Any rebuild I've ever done. Did not expect this. Europa League, Man City beats beat PSG. I'm not going to lie. We had the easiest route to the finals of all time. Easiest ever route to the finals. Aston Villa loses to this Greek team, Ferran Cavaros. Um, and then this is the Euros this season. Wow. Let me show you guys the, the path to get to the Champions League final here. Obviously, we were in one of the tougher groups. We had Real Madrid and Napoli. We taught... We got second in the group, just behind Real Madrid, 10 points. Crazy. Round of 16. We get Atletico Madrid, and we win 4-3 on aggregate. Unbelievable. Quarterfinals, we beat Galatasaray 4-2. Honestly, this was the easiest path to the finals ever. I'm not going to lie. Benfica, 7-4 on aggregate is crazy. And uh, Inter beat Real Madrid 2-1, so they are definitely a tough team. They be also beat Barcelona. I'm sorry, Sajith. It's not Visca Barca in this game, I guess. It is uh, Forza Inter. Um, and then Inter beat Sevilla in the round of 16. Who did Inter have in their group? Are they really that good? They had Benfica, Sociedad, Salzburg. Honestly, kind of straightforward. Uh, they didn't lose a match, though. Insane, guys. If you can, hit that like button just for this. Just for this. We're in the Champions League final first season. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's all I have to say, bro. And we're going to play it, of course. We're going to play it, of course. Gang and pressing, we're going to do that. Um, like I said, very similar formation to us. They got Taram, Latoro as well. Carlos Augusto is their left mid. He's really good. I really like him um, in real life. He's a really good player. Barella, Aslani, Chalonoglu in the midfield. Kind of mid, I'm not going to lie. Aslani's not that high rated. And then Is Lysi on the right side is not that good. Pavard, Bastoni, Devry, really good center back trio. And then Summer is obviously really good. Let's look at their stats here. Who's their top goal scorer in this competition? It is Marcus Duram and Latoro Martinez. This Issy Pelosen guy is pretty good on the wing. He scores a lot of goals for them uh, and gets a lot of assists. So definitely somebody that we need to watch out for. This is absolutely absurd, guys. Barca will win IRL, says Sajith. They might win it, man. After watching them against Napoli yesterday, they were very good. They bossed the whole game. Um, yeah, they, they, they were really impressive yesterday. Uh, Badia needs to come on the bench. Definitely. Um, as a backup striker, he had 12 goals off the bench this season. Really important from him. Uh, this is the team, man. We're doing gang and pressing. I mean, it's not that great of a team. I'm not going to lie. It's funny because both of these teams are sponsored by Paramount Plus. It's a Paramount Plus final. Team! Let's go. It's a Paramount Plus final, guys. We're going to move to the right side here. I didn't expect this, man. We can't play each other on career mode. Bro, what? We can't play each other on career mode. Rando, I don't understand it either. You guys play each other, Rando versus you after. Ooh, that'd be fun. But yeah, we can't do it on career mode, but we can do like a, just a kickoff game. Okay. Okay. Let's freaking go. It's game time, baby. It is game time. I'm serious, bro. I'm not tripping. 
Not such easy trip in Barcelona will win. Uh, please win. Yes, Mo, we're going to win it for you, bro. We're going to do this. First season Champions League final. Come on, man. Come on, we can do this. Technically, we can end the career mode after this match because we've reached the, the final. And the rule is, if we reach the final, we play it, and win or lose, we can end the career mode there. The rebuild there. There we go. This is good. Holler back over on the wing. Not a bad ball. What a ball to Dredovic. Let's go. Dredovic inside. Ball in inside. Oh my god, what a pass. Can we score already? No, it's off the post. The crossbar. Volland. Here we go. Outside the box. This is Crawl. Outside the box. He's going to shoot this with his right foot. It's a shot and it's saved by Yan Summer. What a save. Oh my goodness. This team is cracked. This Crawl again. Finesse shot outside the box. He's going to go over the net. Caleb, we're in the Champions League final. First season. Oh, and by the way, guys, I gave myself a goatee in the game so that I looked like a pedo. Because I thought that was kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. I don't usually do that, but I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, yes, Caleb, we're in the Champions League final. Somebody catch Caleb up on what's been going on. Going on. We got seventh in the Bundesliga. We lost in the semifinals of the DFB Pokal, but we are in the Champions League final. First season with Union Berlin. What a rebuild this has been. This, this team is cracked. And we only made three signings to this team. Here's Barella. Here's the danger man. Tarab, good save from Ronald, the goalkeeper. And it's going to go off for a corner kick. We needed that, bro. We needed that. Yeah, I said it like that. Like a friendly joke. Okay, bet. Mo, a friendly, that'd be awesome. Um, Cool. Oh, my God. FIFA does need to add, or EA needs to add online career mode. Maybe there is online career mode. I just haven't done it. I feel like I've heard of it. Maybe I'm tripping. Here's Barella. Oh, no. That's Lautaro Martinez. He's going to score on the ground shot. And he's been doing this in real life, too, all season long. He's been doing this in real life. What a finish from him. What a finish. That is from Lautaro Martinez, the Argentine striker. His market value, by the way, is like $100 million now, boys. He's having a great season. His best yet. All right. Holler back here. Up to Volland. Nice. There we go. Aronson. Crawl. Let's get that wide to Dredovic. Back to Crawl. Volland. Holler back to Volland. Volland on his right foot. Oh, I thought, they, I thought he made that. Did it get tipped? No, it did not get tipped. He just missed it wide. Mo says, no. Restart again, Sajid says. Oh, boy. We're not restarting. We are not restarting, boys. We're going for it, man. We're going to score here. We're going to score here. Imagine you just heard in the background the Kanye song. I forget what it's called. But he uses the Inter Milan Ultras um, as a, uh, a feature, a sample. It's really cool. It's on the Vultures album. What's the name of the song? Oh, shoot. That was bad. Right to Carlos Augusto. Step up on Summer. He's going to pass that out. All right, get back, boys. Oh, thank you, Pavard. Thank you very much. What a heavy touch. What a stupid touch. What is he doing, bro? In the midfield? No, that's not who I passed it to. Are you kidding me? Nah, bro. Maybe it's the controller. Because I can never pass it to the right person ever. Nice job from Leite. That's going to be a throw-in for us. Let's go. Joey Sports is the manager of the month. It showed in the, in the scoreboard. <laughs> I'm the manager of the month. I'll take it, bro. It showed in the scoreboard. Yes, sir. This is unreal, man. I have to be manager of the year. Union Berlin to the Champions League final. Never saw that coming. What a ball from Volland. This is why I had him as a target player. His passing is off the chain. Oh, what a ball from Gozins. Inside. Gozins still has it. It's, no, it's Dranovic. Splash that back. It's got to be a shot. No, it's not. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's cook. Union Berlin to the final. And let's win it. Aronson. Be creative, man. Just crawl. Out on the wing. It's Dr Dranovic. Back inside. Aronson. Go! See! Union Berlin. See! Union Berlin's dubs, boys. Dubs. Shots fired, baby. Rando's like 400 pounds. Not gonna lie. Rando's not 400 pounds, bro. Rando's been working out, man. Rando, keep working out, my boy. Keep working out. Go to the gym. Because a physical health is a mental health. Let's go. Joe, your manager of the month. Thank you, Mo. I appreciate it, bro. Let's go. 
Y'all are legends. Absolute W, says Mo. I know it's really early, so we're not going to have a ton of people in the chat right now, guys. Um, a lot of people are at school right now. Makes sense. It's only midday. It's, it's noon right now um, on the West Coast. It's 12 o'clock on the West Coast, so everybody's still in school. Hopefully, they watch this back and have a good time, though. Um, but yeah, what a start to this rebuild, though. I do want to win the, the Buttons League at some point, so we're definitely going to be doing at least another season. Um, Barella's going to head that, and it's going to go out for a throw-in. And uh, we're just going to kick this forward. And uh, the ref is probably going to blow the whistle here. Yes, he does. 1-1 one, one going into the halftime locker room. We have a match on our hands between... It's the Battle of the Paramount Plus, plus people. Battle of the Paramount Plus, people. It's late here, says Mo. I wish we had more followers of the channel in the UK, in Europe, in Asia, in Africa. But I'm not going to lie, being an American and having a super American accent, I don't get the respect from... Especially people in the UK and in England. They do not respect an American uh, talking about football, talking about soccer. So I'm definitely at a disadvantage there. So I have to earn their trust. Obviously, younger people like George and um, some of the other people in the chat, Sajith, you guys are all in different countries and stuff. You guys respect me and I appreciate y'all. Um, but people who just go across, go through the shorts feed and see my content and just hear my voice, they're not going to respect me. So I definitely have to work to earn their respect a lot more than just a, a normal person from England or something would. Uh, but it is what it is, man. But yes, my goal is to get more people from the UK to follow me. Nice. 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 Oh, no, no. Handball. Ref, give me a handball, ref. You freak. It's 3 p.m. Here says Caleb, you must be on the East Coast. Eastern United States, the Atlantic Ocean. Awesome, bro. 3 p.m. So you're probably just getting out of school. Bet. Sounds good, Caleb, or, or work or whatever. I don't know, whatever you do. Um, bet. It's going to be a foul there. Imagine, bro. Imagine. Oh, by the way, Champions League games are starting pretty soon. Inter Milan's playing in the Champions League in real life in like an hour. Let's go. Diego Lete, nice take. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're caught. We're caught out of position. Marcus Jerome, he's a really good passer. Nice, T.L. Let's go. Voland. Bad pass to Hollerbach. Man, Pavar takes really heavy, heavy touches. I don't know what he's doing. Come on, keep... Nice job, Rado. That a boy. Get that out quick. Up to crawl. Here we go. Crawl inside. Voland over to Hollerbach. Hollerbach over on the wing to Robin Gosens. What a run from Gosens. He scored 14 goals this season in the Bundesliga. No, no, just, just in all comps. My bad. In all comps. Can he score here in the biggest moment of his career? Crawl, heavy touch. That is not a good touch. Gives it right back to Inter Milan, and they are on the counterattack. Watch the through ball. Marcus Jerome over the top. Step up on Latoro. I guess it's going to be offsides. Yeah, it's going to be offsides. Cool. Bet. Caleb Joe Red Sports, the biggest Inter Milan fan there is. I, I won't lie to you guys. If Inter Milan is playing against Man City like they did last season in the Champions League, I will root for them. I will. Because I'll root for the Serie A over any other league. Because uh, I do think the Serie A is severely underrated. And it used to be the best league in the world. Um, when I was younger, it was the best league in the world. Um, but uh, obviously now the Premier League is. But of course, I hate Inter Milan. But I will root for them against a Premier League team. But uh, no, I'm not an Inter Milan fan. That is funny that you say that though. Uh, we need better hold-up play, Brendan. What is Dumfries doing? What kind of touch is that? Crawl, nice slide. Brendan Aronson. Voland. No, no, Tollerbach. Out of the wing, two Gosens. Inside, Onana. Loses it. God, bro, this has been a tick. This has been a tight second half here. I'm going to have to make some subs really soon. Marcus Strom. Fratezzi. 
Why didn't Fratesi start? Fratesi should have started. Nice job from Tiao. He's been the man of the match for sure, bro. He's made a lot of great tackles. Crawl. Inside. Voland. Over the top. What a ball. What a ball to Brandon Ayrton. Ah, oh, he chested it down, but it goes straight to the defender. Unfortunate, man. Unfortunate. Get back on defense, boys. Get back on defense. Inter is committing players forward. A lot of midfielders forward. Fertesi has gone forward. He's playing as a striker right now. Barella is playing as a striker. Dumfries is inverted as a wing back. Latoro Martinez is here. Step up. Nice drop from Tiao. Once again, he is the player of the match. No doubt about it. Onana to crawl. Good ball. Over for Gozens. Come on, Gozens. This is what you do. You swing the ball in the box. Good ball. Here we go. Hollerbach. Back to Gozens. Crawl. Top of the box. Top of the box. Crawl. Could he finesse this just over the crossbar? Unbelievable. Archie is in the building. Hi, boys. I made it this time. Archie, you are early. Let's go. This is the first season of this rebuild, and we have made the Champions League final. Please, if you can, spare a second to hit that like button and turn on push notifications so you're notified of when I'm going live or when I'm dropping a new video or when I'm dropping a shorts video or, uh, yeah, something like that. Um, so please hit the notification bell. And if you're not subbed already, guys, and you're watching this stream back, please hit that sub button. We're doing rebuilds. Um... Maybe every day for this week and next week. Since we're not doing Sporting Juniors for two weeks, uh, we're going to be doing a lot of rebuilds. Guys, we are in extra time right now. This is sketchy. There you go, Dredovic. I have not made any subs, by the way. Inside crawl. Leite. Tial. Dredovic. Nice ball. Crawl. Inside. Onana. Crawl. Right foot. What a save from Summer. We almost... We almost did the spectacular in extra time. Uh, Vote, the captain, is going to come in for Leite. Leite's looking a little tired. And uh, I think Vote definitely brings in some experience. So I don't think he'll give up a, a goal or anything. Here's Brendan Aronson. What a touch. Here's Brendan Aronson, top of the box. Here's Vote, just fresh in the game. Gets blocked. That was a poor effort, I'm not going to lie. That was a really poor effort. Vote is trapping, tracking back to Rom. Barella to Dumfries to Fratezzi. Come on, man. Come on, guys. DeVry, Fratezzi. They're just passing it around right now. Crawl, nice tackle. Let's go, Crow. Get that back. Let's go. That is amazing from you. That's not good. That's not good right there. Blow the whistle, ref. Thank God he just blew the whistle because they were going to be on the counterattack. I don't know what we were doing back there, just dicking around in the back line. Unbelievable. It's 1-1 going into the second half of extra time. There might be penalties, boys. First season, Champions League, and there might be penalties to end it. This is unreal. In my version, I dropped to the, I dropped to the Europa League, then I lost to Romo. Rando, how did you do in the Bundesliga, though? You probably did better than we did in the Bundesliga. We only got seventh, so it is what it is. Uh, yes, sir, says Mo. What's up, chat? Nora's in the building. Nora, I know it's early. I appreciate you joining, bro. Absolute legend. This is awesome, guys. Hit that like button real quick so we can get this in the algorithm, guys. Please, por favor. I do want to be known as a uh, career mode content creator, guys. That is what I love to do. Um, I love doing this, even though it doesn't work out a lot of the time. I love doing it, and uh, I love seeing you guys in the chat. And uh, I would love to be known as a content creator, or a, uh, a career mode content creator. Hollerbach is going to swing this in with his left boot. It's going to go to the top of the box here. Voland gets that to Brendan Aronson. And Aronson, once again, he is not having a good match, is he? His chest. Here's Dumfries. I was going to say something, but... Uh, it, it wasn't going to sound right. There it is. That could be the match winner. I think that's for Tezzy. Unbelievable. I was in my math class, so I couldn't watch it because she's strict as fuck. Usually the math teachers are pretty strict, so that makes sense. And by the way, guys, what color is your math folder? Is it red or blue? For me, math has always been red. For me. No, no, I, it hasn't always been red. Because English was red a couple of times. I'd say math is more blue. Math is blue for me. Have you guys seen that in the uh, the memes? 
Um, like, what color is your math class? Mine was usually blue, and English was red or yellow. English was red or yellow. Make the run, Dranovich. Make the run. Make the run. Here we go. Bro, imagine we pull the equalizer back. He's onside. Dranovich is onside. Gets to the byline. Splits that back. It's a bad pass. Fratezzi. Gets that up to Taram. He's coming back and dropping deep. Chalanoglu. Nice. This is our last chance. Last chance for romance, boys. One minute of stoppage time. This is it. And we lose the ball. That's it, guys. We lost in the Champions League final, bro. Math makes me mad so red. <laughs> I'm more of a math guy. I like math. Um, that makes sense, though. That makes sense. <laughs> That's hilarious. It makes you mad so red. That's unfortunate, guys. We do not win the Champions League, but it's only the first season. <sighs> it's only the first season, boys. Nah, it's okay, says Mo. Okay, okay, but can we agree? Science is green. Yes, science is green. I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. So, guys, it ends with no trophies this first season, but a lot of good stuff happened. Um, we got a Trimble transfer offer. We're probably going to accept this since he's really old, and he's probably going to retire after next season. So if we could sell him, get him off the books, that'd be awesome. Uh, Liduni is asking for a transfer also. This is your chance. This is your chance. This is your chance. Okay. So, guys, we can sign three new players this season. I predict that the score says Sajit. Sajit, you got it right, bro. Vote transfer offer. We're probably going to accept this because once he came in, he gave up the game-winning goal. He's got to go. He's got to go. Vote has got to go. And plus, he's 32 years old. He's not going to fit the time frame of these other younger superstars like Aaron Sentia and Onana. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's one more time look at the stats of this team. Top goal scorer was Valen, 17 goals and 6 assists. I don't know if we keep him for another season, but if he keeps doing this, we definitely keep him. But we had a lot of contributions from everyone on the pitch. Robin Gosens had maybe his best season as a professional. 14 goals and 4 assists. Hollerbach, 14 and 6. He grew 4 ratings. He looks like a stud. Um, yeah, definitely one to keep. Aronson, 7 and 11. Uh, yeah, those guys are studs. Poe, I got fourth, says Rando. So, you're going to be in the Champions League next season. We're not because we got seventh. We might be in the Conference League. I don't think we're going to be in it, though, I'll be honest. Uh, vote offer from Real Sociedad. It's higher than the previous offer, so we're going to accept it. And he's going to decide where he wants to go. Uh, Liduni transfer offer. Crawl development schedule here. He's up to a 79. The Czechia player is going to keep growing. Love that. Let's get his pace up. Perfect. Uh, but we do have a Liduni transfer offer from AC Milan, and we're definitely going to accept this. We're going to negotiate and accept it. Um, I do want to sell him and get a new defensive midfielder in the squad. Even though Liduni wasn't bad for us, and he's still relatively young, 27 years old, I think we can get someone like James Garner in, Oliver Skip in the squad, or Lepinot, uh, Varela, Viraman. So that could be awesome, man. Um, yeah, we got to sell some players to sign players, guys. Kevin Vogt is going to be gone to Bergamo Calcio for $7.4 million. Awesome. Go to the Discord. Let me check it out. Let me check it out. Rando in the Discord. Booms and goodbyes. General memes. Hot takes. Uh, what section is it in? Oh, Rando's live. Let's go. I hear you, Rando. I hear you. Or is it three, two, one? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Let's go. Rando's in the chat, guys. Go to the Discord. Join the Discord. The link is in the description below, and you can follow Rando, who's also doing the Union Berlin rebuild. That's a really good idea. I never thought about that, um, having you guys do that, but Rando, really good idea. Shout out you, bro. He got fourth in his first season. Um, dropped to the Europa League. Where did you finish in the Europa League? Ah, uh, that's all right. But you're going to be in the Champions League next year, so shout out to you, bro. Who did you sign your first season? Uh, I signed Neuer and Aaron Ramsey. Neuer and Ramsey. Okay, so he, he brought in the experience. He went experience. That's a good one, man. That's a good one. Maybe I should sign a new, uh, a new goalkeeper. Um, I don't know. Ronald was pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Ronald was good. That reminds me... What did he get? 22 and 6. Oh, that's even more than he got for me. 
He got 17 for me. 22 and 6 is crazy. He's a cheat code, man. Seven clean sheets? I, I forgot to check Ronda. Did you? Uh, so that was Neuer who got seven clean sheets, right? Yep. Okay. Mo recommends to sign Petrovic, the goalkeeper. Petrovic plays for Chelsea, right? Yeah. Okay, bet. Petrovic will be good. Um, I don't think Rondo has a lot of potential left, and he's only a 79 rated. So maybe we sign a goalkeeper this season, and Petrovic could be on the transfer hub there. I'll, I'll take a damn... Swift and come back. Oh, damn, Sajith. What are you talking about in the chat, bro? What the? Sajith goes crazy in the chat. I love it, though. I love it. I think it adds some uh, some comedy. For sure. He has no filter. Let's see. What'd you say? Like in the, uh, on stream? No, like, like on stream, and then people can clip that, and you get more views. I get it. I know. You, you know what? You're right. You're right. I do need to be better at saying controversial stuff. Like, are you talking about just in life in general or football-related stuff? Anything. Anything. Okay. No, bro, I would get sold. I would get flamed. I get flamed, but I guess that's good. I guess that's good. I could do that. All right, Petrovic is a 77 rated goalkeeper from Chelsea, six foot four. He's only 24 years old. Serbian. Oh, I got to see what our transfer budget is looking like. What's your transfer budget second season, Rando? Bro, I got 107 mil. No way. 107 million. It's it's because we made it to the final of the Champions League. We got hella cash for that. But you finished seventh. I know, you're right. We did finish seventh, but it... Well, we did sell some players at the end of the season, too. We sold Vote uh, and, uh... Uh... Lai Duni. Sign, sign Mukoko for Shane. Hey, Mukoko, Okay. We do need a backup striker. What'd you say? Oh, okay. So you, are you, are you going to check your uh, transfer budget? Yeah. What's it called? What's it called? Um, you need Berlin, one of the, one of the stack leads. So, because uh, I didn't sign one Japanese player. Japanese player? Dude. No, that's wild. They want diversity. That's crazy. One Japanese player? Let's see. Yeah, plus my phone's almost dead. Let's see here. Discord. No way. Oh, wait, what the heck? I see it. Bro, yeah, it's lagging out. It's glitching. You're in the Matrix, bro. Oh, it's back. It's back. Are you on PC? Okay, 70 email. That makes sense. All right, I'm going to add you on the stream through Discord here. <laughs> That's kind of lit. I didn't know you could stream on Discord. Let's see here. All right, Randall, say something. Or Nora. Let's see, I can't quite hear him. Hey, Henry's in the chat. Dunk Oreo's also back. Dunk Oreo, we lost the Champions League final. Um, we also got Rando doing a side-by-side -side Union Berlin rebuild with me, just his own version. His first season, he signed Neuer and 
Aaron Ramsey, and he got fourth in the Bundesliga, so he's going to be in the Champions League next season. He got bounced. He got grouped from the Champions League and then got bounced in the round of 16 of the Europa League. Um, but yeah, he's on uh, round two as well. Um, yeah, Rando, I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Hello? Voice connected. Okay. Voice is connected. This is weird because you're not muted. I'm watching your stream right now. Let me stop watching and then go back in. Bro, gotta go soon. Okay, well, uh, we'll, we'll get back to the uh, the rebuild in a second here. I'm just trying to get uh, Rando and Nora back in the chat here. I just finished my own stream. LOL. Hey, Dunk Oreo. Let's go, bro. Keep streaming, man. Keep streaming. Mm. It's just like uh, Dory and Finding Nemo. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Just keep streaming, okay? Uh, did you see the comments on your last live stream of the shout-out? Yes, Henry, um, I will do a setup tour at some point in the future here. Um, I, I'm thinking about doing a day in the life, and in that video, I'd probably post it on TikTok because it's going to be over a minute long. Um, a day in the life, and in that video, I can show my setup and, and everything like that. My dual monitors, my camera here um, in my room, and my green screen and stuff like that. And I can show you all that stuff. Um, when it comes to, like, my story on YouTube, because I know you asked about that as well. Oh, no, my Elgato died. What the heck? Oh, boy. Um... When it comes to my story and everything on YouTube and my, my journey on YouTube and stuff like that, I will... I'll, I'll come out with a video of that. I'll come out with a video of that. Okay. I don't know why I can't hear Rando. It looks like he's signing somebody. I'm watching his stream right now. He's signing Oster Gluck. If you guys don't know, I'm watching this in the Discord. Join the Discord. The link is in the description below. If you can't join the Discord through that, um, search Joe Sports Hub. For some reason, I can't hear him, but I can watch him. I guess we'll just stick with that. My phone's literally about to die here. Um, so yeah, I'm watching your stream, Rando. If you can hear me, I am watching your stream right now. Hopefully I can get my face cam going again. What the hell's going on? Give me one second, fellas. I gotta fix my uh, face cam. Some music in the background. Bro, what kind of condoms do you use? Well, I use Magnums. I do. I've only used Magnums since I was 17. When I became non-virgin. A non-virgin. I only use Magnums. I have used Trojan before, but I pretty much only use Magnums. I know you guys might think that's crazy, but I'm like that. What is wrong with my face cam? 
Give me a second, guys. We're going to get back to the rebuild in a second here. Let me know in the chat who we should sign this third Sorry, this second season. We get three signings. One of them has to be a German player. Please let me know in the chat who we should sign. Man, Rando's manager rating is looking pretty dull. I'm not going to lie. He's in the red right now. I'm not going to lie. I'd probably be in the red. Uh, we made the Champions League final, so I'd probably be in the green still. But... Um, if I didn't have mods, I'd probably be in the red. Thank God for mods because the game updated today. Uh, we're back. I got an ad for ball gel. That's crazy. I'm going to make a career for you. Yes, Dunk Oreo. By the way, since we're not going to be doing Sporting Juniors in the next two weeks, I might do, I thought about it, I might do just a solo career mode on live stream where we do a season per episode um, for like two hours each live stream. So that would be really fun. Okay, I have to figure out my, my camera here, guys. I'm not sure what the hell is going on. Okay. What is the dealio? Okay, okay there I am. There, there I am. am. The green screen was perfect, man. I had the green screen perfect for like two weeks. And now I have to redo everything here. Smoothness, similarity, is that the problem? Nah, uh, now I'm like a ghost. I'm already pasty white, man. I don't have to be see-through now. How's that? It's not bad. It's not great. What, what happened to the Wolfsburg rebuild and live stream? It, it said 1968. Yeah, yes, I was gonna do a Wolfsburg live stream, but I realized that Union Berlin needs the rebuild more. So Henry, that's what my thinking was. Um, are you streaming from your phone or computer, Henry? I'm streaming from my computer, my desktop. Uh, but yeah, the Wolfsburg rebuild will happen at some point in the future. I just thought that Berlin really needed some help, so that's why I'm here. How's this? Oh, I can do a pop out of this Discord thing. That's sick. Okay. Looks like Rando signing somebody. He's signing David Alaba, bro. He's bringing him back to the Bundesliga. Shout out, Rando, man. If you guys are wondering, I'm watching his stream on Discord right now. He's doing a side-by-side -side rebuild of Union Berlin. He's signing David Alaba from Real Madrid. Looks like he's going to give him a huge wage. Uh, that is wild, bro. Crucial three-year deal. Nice job, Rando. Shout out, Rando, man. Guys, join the Discord. Link is in the description below. Um, okay, I guess this is good. I guess, I guess this, this is fine, fine here. And then copy, nice. And move this to the right side. Okay, cool. 
All right, now we're on the left. All right, guys, we are back with the rebuild. We're chilling here. Guys, please hit that like button real quick so we can get this in the algorithm. I know we took a little, little bit of a pause right there, but we are back, and we are rebuilding. For some reason, I can't hear Nora and Randall on my computer. I had a problem with this in the past, too, but I don't, I don't remember how I fixed it. Um, I heard them on my phone, but my phone is... It's pretty much dead now. Yeah. It's pretty much dead. But Alright. Dredovich transfer offer. I want to keep Dredovich, but honestly, guys, I would be down to sign a new right midfielder, if that's what you guys think. 700000 from Coventry City for Trimble. I'd be down with that. Dredovich, $10 million from Napoli. Dredovich was really good for us last season, I'm not going to lie. Him and Gosens made a duo that was spectacular on the... Uh, the, the wing back, back positions at the wing back, back positions. Um, okay. Oh, your echo is on? Shoot. God damn, bro. My bad, guys. My bad, guys. My bad, guys. Thank you, Henry, for letting me know. That was stupid on me. Every time I add the camera in, the echo starts again, and I have to turn the camera volume off. All right, there is Laiduni. We sold him to AC Milan before the season even started, and now we have $107 million in the budget to fix this Union Berlin squad, guys. Let's take a look at the squad here. I like the cam. I like the DMs a lot, but we do need a backup DM, even though Tussart is pretty good. I would like another backup DM. I would also like a new wing back or a right mid slash left mid that is pretty good defensively. Let me know in the chat, guys, who should we sign as a right mid? I want to keep Gozins as a starter. He is coming off a career year. He needs to stay as the starter on the left side. On the right side, though, I would be down to replace Dranovich with a new starter. Okay, dead. Uh, let me know. Let me know who you guys are thinking. Thornsby. Anybody back from loan? We got a bunch of players back from loan, including Kaufman. Looks like a really good striker. 73 rated. Really good young player. 70 rated grill. Goalkeeper. Uh, Sharky. Looks pretty good. He's a right mid. His defensive stats are not very good. I'm thinking about selling him, actually. Um, ah, we'll just keep him on for squad depth, I guess. Doesn't make sense to sell him. To sell him. Coo, coo, coo. Coo, coo, coo. There we go. But otherwise, this team is looking so good. And I can't wait to make it even better, boys. We got a really good defensive line. I'd be down to sign a new left-footed center back and a right mid this season, guys. And we also got Vertessen back from his loan spell at Aston Villa. So he's back. Malo Gusto would be really good. I think he can play as a wing back slash right mid. Um, and he obviously, since he's technically a right back, he's got really good defensive stats. Malo Gusto would be good. That's a really good recommendation. Who remembers Malo Gusto in the Olympic Lyon FIFA 23 career mode? He was a beast. I remember we sold him late in that career mode. And I think we, we uh, replaced him with Frimpong. What if we signed Frimpong? Frimpong could perfectly fit over on the right side there. Okay, I'm going to transfer list him too. Um, but Gusto looks really good. His shooting is only a 50. I wish it was a little bit better than that. But uh, we, could work with, we, we could work with it if we decide to sign him. Frimpong could be our star signing. Oh, not this guy. Eugene Frimpong, not him. That's the wrong Frimpong. I need Jeremy. Jeremy Frimpong, the right wing back from Bayer Leverkusen. He's worth 81 million and 86 overall player. He would be the highest rated player on the team. Rico Lewis is also another option. But let's compare Frimpong to Gusto here. Frimpong has 83 pace. 61 shooting, 78 passing, 76 defense. Gusto has worse defense. He's slower and he has worse shooting. Honestly, Frimpong is the man, bro. 23 years old. Frimpong is the man. I think we just used all of our budget to sign Frimpong. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I would like to sign a center back, though. A left-footed center back like Pacho. He'd be good. Um, we do need a German player, too. So don't forget about that, boys. We need a German player as well. Uh, Fresneda, Luis Gusto. Okay. I love it, Mo. Thank you. Less money. You're right. Frimpong does cost a lot. Uh, Rico Lewis. He could play right mid, right? Ah, his shooting is just super low. His shooting is really bad. Uh, let's look at these other guys here. Fresneda. I know he's a right back. Right wing back here. Okay. His shooting's also really low, so I don't know about that. Uh, who else, guys? Who else are you thinking? 
I'm gonna start a Union Berlin career mode. Let's go, Henry. Union Berlin. Everybody's doing it. Everybody's doing a Union Berlin career mode. And fair play, man. Union, Union Berlin is... They were really good last year. It's really shocking how bad they are this year. Uh, it looks like Rando... An update on Rando's career mode. He's signing a young central attacking midfielder, Paul... Wainer? Wanner? Wanker? <laughs> nah, Wanner. And uh, from Bayern Munich, so that's pretty cool. Maybe he's getting him on loan or so. He's getting him on loan, actually, with a uh, option to buy. So shout-outs, our boy Rando over there doing the work. It's awesome that I can watch his stream while I'm streaming, and I can see how he's doing. That's awesome, bro. I wish I could hear him, though, but I can't. Um, I don't know what's going on with the Discord, guys. I am not technically savvy. I'm not tech-savvy when it comes to, uh, like, Discord and even YouTube and... All this stuff. Gotta go, Joe. Bye. Great to be here. Mo, awesome. Thank you for joining, bro. You're an absolute legend. I'm glad that you could join uh, while you're still awake and everything like that. And Cecil would be fun. Bad defensive stats, though. I'm not going to lie. Okay, let's look for right wing backs, guys. There's got to be somebody else. And maybe even a German player, too. Let's first go to the Premier League. Imagine Trent. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Imagine. Nah, that'd be crazy. 18 to 26 years old here. Anybody in the Premier League? Not really. Issa Kapore, bad shooting though. Not going to work. Let's go mid now. Right mid. Oh, what about Saka? Oh, Yan Kuto's pretty good. Good defensive stats too. Yan Kuto's really good. Okay. He could be somebody. We sign. Mason Greenwood. Imagine we got Mason Greenwood, bro. Randall, stream on YouTube. Yeah, uh, listen to Caleb. Stream on YouTube, Randall. Do you have a... Channel? Yeah, Randall, you have a channel. How did it feel like when you had sex, Sajith? <laughs> I don't know if I should be talking about this in front of... Uh... Ah, you guys are old enough. It felt good, bro. It felt nice. Um, I was nervous, not gonna lie. I was shaking when I was trying to put the condom on. The first, like, few times I was shaking. Uh, Elise would be good. Not great defense. Defensive ratings. Maslu would be good. Bad defensive ratings. Cole Palmer, bad defensive ratings, but he would be fun. Um, Raksaki. Uh, but yeah, you're going to be nervous your first few times, but you just got to do it, bro. Put that thing on and make sure you wrap it up, bro. Put it on. Don't raw dog it. All right. But it feels good, man. It feels good. It's nothing like you've ever experienced before. I'll tell you that. Roman Favre has pretty good defensive stats. He could be good. Okay. We're going to go to the Bundesliga here. Kenoff would be nice. He looks pretty good from Frankfurt. Definitely a lot cheaper than our boy Frimpong. Obviously, I would love to sign Frimpong. Tella, Cerny, Vimmer. Bad defensive stats for all these guys. Hugo Seeket would be good, but not a very high rating. Dino Mbembe, Mbimbe would be good. Wait, let's go to right wing back. Arthur. You know what? Arthur could be good for squad depth. I might just sign him for squad depth. Actually. But uh honestly guys, I'm thinking Yan Kuto. I'm thinking Yan Kuto personally. Where is he? The right midfielder. Look at his defensive stats. I didn't expect this. 70 rated defensive stats, 81 dribbling, 73 passing, 64 shooting, and 86 pace. That is exactly what we need on the right side. 64 physical as well. And his aggression stats are pretty high. 66. Um, if you compare that to somebody like Malo Gusto, he's a 74. Um, Frimpong's a 78. So a 66 isn't bad. Joe, is it pink? Oh, you talking about me or the girls? It depends on the girl. It depends on the girl. Me? The tip is, yeah. The tip is, I'm not gonna lie. Yes. Joe, who's your lucky girl who slept with you? Well, I could name him, but I'm not going to dox him like that. <laughs> That's so funny, bro. Okay, we're getting a little bit too personal because I'm pretty sure they don't know that I do this. I haven't told people that I, I do YouTube and stuff. And I don't want you looking up the girls that I've uh, done the deed with, okay? I'm not going to dox them like that. Guys, I want Jeremy Frimpong. I'm going to approach the buy him. But... I a bit too sus. 
Dunk is a bit too sus. Interesting. Okay. Um... Y'all are crazy, bro. I'm not going to dox people like that. All right, 90 million for Jeremy Frimpong. He wants 98 million plus a 5% sell on Claws. This could actually happen, boys. Let's do 90.8 million with the 5% sell on Claws. They come down quite a bit. The tensions are still relatively low. We'll do 91.5 million with the 5% sell on Claws. They're going to come back with 92.2. We're going to accept it. We're going to get Jeremy Frimpong in because we still have a bunch of transfer budget left and we can negotiate a contract with them. Guys, this... It makes sense because we just made the Champions League final. Jeremy Frimpong realizes that we are the up-and-coming team in the Bundesliga. And he wants to join our project. Jeremy Frimpong is going to be the man on that right side. So we have Gozins on the left, Jeremy Frimpong on the right. Nah, this is going to be overpowered, guys. Pace on both sides, shooting ability on both sides, and really good defensive stats on both sides as well. I mean, Frimpong's work rate is like no other. He is fast. He has stamina. Not that kind of stamina. Um, this guy's crazy. This guy is crazy. We're going to offer him 60k a week, and he is going to accept that with a 230,000 signing bonus. He is in. Uh, wait, no typo. I meant chat. Chat is a bit sus. Chat, Sajith is a bit sus. Sajith is a bit sus. Uh, but yes, my tip is pink. Um, I mean, what color did you expect? <laughs> Honestly, look at me. What color did you expect, bro? Um, it is what it is. And I'm really veiny, guys. I'm getting really personal here, guys. So I hope you are okay with this. I'm, I know you're okay with that. I know you want this. I'm really veiny. I'm a really veiny person. Um, can't really see him right now. I haven't really worked out today. I ran earlier, but you can see the vein there. I'm usually a really veiny person. And I do have some veins down there. In the shaft. I got some veins in the shaft. Uh, I'm that kind of guy, bro. I'm just ripped everywhere, I guess you can say. Um, Ayo, does it have veins? Yes, Rando has veins. And I'll tell you one more thing. We're getting really personal. <laughs> We're getting really personal today. Not many people know this, but there's one freckle down there. I got freckles on my face and on my arms. Nowhere else on my body. There's none on my chest, none on my back, none on my stomach, none on my legs. But I have one freckle on my downstairs area. Just one. Just one freckle with some veins. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy, dog. Uh, white or Latina, I've been with both. Um, so, yes, I have seen a pink downstairs area. Does it have veins? Ayo, does it stink? Um, it depends on the girl. It can stink, especially after they work out. I know girls would, would look great when they're wearing their booty shorts and their ass is hanging out. But after they work out, it stinks. I was, I, was, I was almost going to say worse than a guy's, but I don't know what other guys smells like. But I know mine's isn't that bad after I work out. But girls, they stink after they work out, bro, 100%. Um, and I've been, with, I've been with some runner girls. You guys know I've been a, I'm a cross-country and track guy. I've been with some runner girls. Don't mess with them after a race, for sure, or a workout or anything like that. Guys, I'm going really personal. I'm getting really personal right now. Hit that like button, please, and subscribe if you're not subbed already. Mm. Welcome to Joe Red Sports. We go crazy here. Uh, white or Latina, I've been with both. Nora, um, I will say that the white girl smelled worse than the Latina did. But the white girl did work out more. more, more so I guess that makes sense. Um, yeah. All right, guys. We have one guy already in the squad. We need to sign a, a German player. We have gotten way off track here. But I love it, guys. Um, lots of fun. Um, reminiscing and uh, talking to you guys about it. That's so funny, bro. All right, Jeremy Frimpong is now in the starting lineup, and Juranovic is our super stu stud, S super stud, super sub, <laughs> right wing back. Uh, Frimpong is now fitting perfectly over there, guys. This team is so baller. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys love it too. I'm loving this team. I think we're going to go back to the Champions League final next season not this season because we're not going to be in the champions league obviously we got seventh in the bundesliga uh, last season but i would like to sign a center back that is german i'm thinking nico schlotterbeck guys give me some options i'm thinking nico schlotterbeck who do you guys think he is german so he checks off that um box oh wait schlotterbeck's too expensive i just realized that okay who should i sell maybe i should sell a player um let's do some development plans this season by the way boys for every player so that we uh, max out our growth. That's what she said, bro. Or I guess that's what he said. Yeah, that's not what she said. That's what he said. Crazy, bro. 
Um, Poonchas, what a name. Poonchas. Poonchas. I swear Dookie's potential is only an 80 because in the Dormant Career Mode, he stunted at 80 also. Like he stopped growing at 80 rated. Crazy. Guys, please hit that like button so we can get this in the algorithm. I appreciate y'all joining me today. I know it's early, but I think we're finally starting to get some people um, who are coming out of school and uh, joining the stream. Awesome. And follow our boy Rando in the Discord. He is also doing a, a Union Berlin rebuild on the Discord. He's live streaming over in the Discord. Link is in the description below if you want to uh, join the Discord and you're not already in the Discord. I'm pretty sure most of you already are, but if you're watching this back and you want to join the Discord and you want to be part of the community, the link is in the description. If the, if the uh, link doesn't work, search Joe Sports Hub in Discord and you will find it. Uh, we go crazy over there, man. We got a bunch of uh, shit talkers. We also have some memes. We also have some Sporting Juniors news, some transfer news over there. Um, lots of fun stuff in the Discord, guys. Go follow it. Go join it if you haven't joined already. And please, so you're notified of when I'm going live and dropping new videos and shorts, um, hit notifications. Hit the notification bell on my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it, guys, so you're notified and you can uh, join right away in the live streams. Let's go. Cool, cool, cool. Sign Colin. Crazy, bro. Does it pulse? Don't know about that one. I don't think so. Um, you're talking about like, like a heartbeat? No. Not that I know of. Uh, <laughs> bro, that's a crazy question. Does it pulse? Not like a heartbeat. No. Maybe it does. Because sometimes you can flex it. You know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys are kind of young, though. But you guys know what I'm talking about. You can flex it, if you know what I mean. Um, and maybe it pulses that way? I guess that's the only way I can think about it. Dranovic transfer offer. We're going to block this offer because, oh, Dranovic has requested a move away from the club. Maybe it's time for him to move, and then we can bring in, like, Arthur or something. Um, two Leverkusen right wing backs. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. So, all right, so let's get as much cash as, cash as we can for our boy Dranovic. Really good first season with us, but I guess maybe he wasn't playing last season. Maybe that was the problem. And uh, he has asked for a transfer away from the club. Interesting. Sign Nathan Collin. Can you do turbulence thingy? The, <laughs> the turbulence thingy? Are you talking about the, the helicopter? The helicopter? Or do you mean the wind? Like blowing stuff. No, I didn't mean it like that. Does it have white stuff on it? No, there's no white stuff on it. What's the best way to flex it? Wind, says Sajith. Crazy, bro. Oh, my God. When you flex it, you have to move your butt, too. I guess you can clench your cheeks and do it at the same time. Okay, guys, you guys are crazy, bro. Let's try to sell some players here. Um, I'm not going to sell this guy because I want him. Uh, I don't want him like that. I want him for squad depth, okay? We're going to accept this West Ham offer for Dranovich, too. Cool beans, cool beans, cool beans. Guys, I need a center back. I need a center back, preferably that's left-footed and German. If you got anybody, let me know. Christopher Trimmel is gone to Coventry for 700 thou. He's like 38 years old and a 69 rated. 69. And I think it was a matter of time before he left. When you flex it, you have to move your butt too. I don't know about move your butt, but clench your butt, yeah. I don't think you have to though. I don't, th I don't think I have to. I think I can just do it, bro. Just get the blood rushing down there, you know? You already know, man. You already know, baby. You already know, baby. Two fingers or one finger? Pfft, none for me. But I've done three fingers before. For a girl. You start off with one. You loosen it up. Get them a little bit wetter because it gets a little moist. Go for two, and then you go for three fingers. I've never done four, and I've never done a whole fist. I've heard stories about that, but I've done three max. Nah, y'all are tripping with the questions today. Y'all are going crazy with the questions. Ooh, ass or tits. I've gone back and forward with this, guys. I've gone back and... Back and forward. <laughs> back and forth with this question. When I was younger, I would say... I would say these. But now that I'm older, I'm going to say the rear end. I'm going to say the rear end is more to my liking, if you know what I mean. Um, now that I'm older. All right, guys, we're going to sign Arthur. He's Brazilian. Um, 
right wing back. And since we sold Juranovic, I think we need some squad depth at that position since we don't have any more fullbacks. So I think we're going to bring him in. What's the best way to pee when you're hard? Bro, there's no best way to pee when you're hard. I would say cup your soccer balls, if you know what I mean. Cup your soccer balls, and that helps a little bit. Um, we're going to offer $4 million plus a sell-on clause for our boy, Arthur. But there is no way to, to pee uh, when you're hard. Girls have no idea, bro. Girls have no idea how hard, how hard we get or how hard it is, literally, to, uh, to do stuff like that. Pee with the, with the hard on. Should my soccer balls be so wrinkly? Crazy, bro. At your age, no. I'm going to say at your age, no. Randall, I'm going to say no at your age. Um, but maybe that's a sign of usage? Crazy. Usage and experience. That's <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let's go prospect for Arthur here. He wants sporadic. I guess he'll be sporadic. He will. He'll come in off the bench a lot. Um, four years sporadic. Ban these guys, says Henry. Yeah, these guys are going crazy in the chat right now. Rando. Oh, Rando, did you end your career or did you get fired or something? Because, Rando, I just looked at the live stream and it looks like you're at the homepage. Did you get fired? That's the only explanation I can think of right now. Maybe he's starting a new one or something. Or he's just changing the uh, sound, the music. He might just be changing the music. All right. So that's two signings already this season, guys, and they were both fullbacks. And I think they're both going to be really good for us. We're pretty much raiding <laughs> Byron Leverkusen. Sorry, Byron Leverkusen. Uh, but we're taking your players, man. Uh, we got some good backup strikers this season. Luling and Vertessen's going to be really good. We, have, we are four deep. Five deep, because we have Kaufman also on the reserves bench. We are five deep at the striker position. We have Jacko at the center back position. I would love another center back since we did sell vote. Uh, I guess we're not going to be signing a new DM this season. We do have two start on the bench and Thornsby on the bench, who could, who has really good defensive stats, 75 rated defense. He could be a DM if need be. Um, Schaefer also in the midfield. Yeah, guys, we need a center back. I would love Schlotterbeck, but he's going to be way too expensive. And we only have $17 million in the budget. Let's find a good left-footed center back. He has to be a, ger a German player. This has to be a German player. All right, let's look here. Let's look. Bachmann. Jackal? <laughs> okay, wait. There's another guy named Jackal? He's right-footed, though. I don't want him. I want a left-footed German. No, no, no. Moons? Pacho's not German. He'd be nice, though. Schmidt? Okay, he looks pretty good. 69 rated. A 69 rated. Why are my soccer balls so sticky? One drops deeper than the other two. How do I wipe the sticky off? Uh, use a wet one. Like one of these. Like a Lysol wipe. A wet one. And no, I don't have those here for that reason. I have those here because Finn tends to get into stuff. And plus, it is the winter right now. When we go outside, there's mud. I have to wipe his feet before he comes in. And uh, I use those wipes to wipe his feet. <laughs> Crazy, man. I'm going uh, to get in trouble, man. Um, this guy looks pretty good. Cyril's little bin. Here's Schlotterbeck, by the way. 48 million he's worth. Way too expensive. Uh, Peeper? Piper? Peter Piper picked the pepper. Crazy. Does the tip hurt? No, the tip's the best part. For me, like, as the guy. This guy looks pretty good, too. Not too bad. Koswanu, not gonna work. Jens? He looks pretty good. We could take him from Wolfsburg. Wouldn't mind it. Collins, Chabo. Oh, Chabo, this is the guy. This is the guy we want. Chabo is the one we want. You know what? No. No, I I'm good with the center backs that we have now, guys. I think we just signed a German player for squad depth at that center back position. I think that's what we do. Sign a German player for squad depth at that position. Um, Schmidt is an option. Sears Lubin is an option. And Jens is an option. 
I'm thinking we go for... Schmidt's really fast. Schmidt's got really good pace, so let's sign Schmidt from Freeburg. He's really cheap, guys. Let's do it. Should it be so floppy and wrinkly? At your age, no. I'm going to say no. All right, it looks like Rando is back uh, playing his... Uh, Union Berlin, Union Berlin rebuild. They want a sell on clause. No sell on clause for Schmidt. Thank you. Three million. Cool. What's the best position? Ooh. I used to just be a cowgirl guy or cowboy. Is it cowboy or cowgirl? But recently, I've just been since I've been more of an ass guy recently. Probably doggy. Right now, I'm gonna say doggy. Missionary is too boring and I don't like eye contact. I think it's a little strange. I know girls like that, but I don't like eye contact, so I'm not doing missionary. Um, so right now, I'd probably say doggy. Right now, doggy is the best. But cowboy, cowgirl's good. I've done reverse, but eh. Um, yeah. Do you like hair on a girl? Yes, I like hair on a girl. Like up here, not down there though. I think I see what you mean now. Not down there, but up there, yes. On their head, yes. I mean, like, soccer. I mean, in soccer, like, striker or left wing. What was the feeling when you put that in your mouth? Wait, what? Nah, bro. I know you. I know what you meant to say there. No, no. I know what you're saying right there, bro. You're not going to catch me off. I'm not going to say it was good because I've never done that before, bro. She's never put it in my mouth, bro. We're not swinging that way. We are not swinging that way. All right, guys, we have our third and final signing in the squad. Let me know your predictions in the chat. Where do you think we're going to finish this season, boys? This Union Berlin rebuild has been a lot of fun. I know it's taken a long time. Two hours, and we're only on the second season. Um, but it's been a lot of fun uh, talking to you guys in the chat. Let's make sure we sign the players who are on expiring contracts and uh, give them new deals as well. Uh, contract negotiation for the Sharky guy. She never sucked it? Wow. Nah, the way you said it, you you meant it the other way. And I don't swing that way, brother. I do not swing that way. Uh, we're going to give this guy a sporadic, sporadic squad roll. Three extra years. Wow, I'll take that. No doubt about it. I will take that. Um, 30000 We will raise your wage to $30,000. let us go. Jared Sports confirmed. Gay says Caleb. <laughs> Definitely not, bro. That's why... <sighs> Definitely not, bro. Don't swing that way. I am never swinging that way. Maybe this Jackal guy is. This Jackal guy might be gay. I mean, look at his name, bro. He jacks people off. He jacks them off. All right, guys, this is the squad we're running for season number two. I'm going to put in the... I'm going to put a poll up right now, and I want you guys to vote. Where do you think we're going to finish this season? End of the Bundesliga. Where will we finish in Bundesliga? Guys, let me know in the chat. Where are we going to finish in the Bundesliga? Wait, what? Oh, wait, no. End Q&A. Whoops. That was my fault. Joe, watch Rando's stream. I see... Oh, my goodness. I see it, Nora. You're right. Rando is signing Lionel Messi to Union Berlin. Is it going to be on a free? How much did you pay for him? I didn't see how much you paid for him. Do you like long nails, Missy Jacks? Yes, I actually do. Because it's feminine. It's very feminine to have long nails. And, like, have your nails did and all that stuff. Wow, look at Lionel Messi. Coming into the squad at Union Berlin in Randall's rebuild. Legend, bro. Where will we finish in Bundesliga? I'm going to say top four. Winner. Top seven. One of those. I'm not going to put relegation because I know you guys are going to troll and just say relegation. Okay? I'm not saying that. Um, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Where do you think we're going to finish? Let me know in the, in the voting column, guys. Vote, 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 vote. 
69th place, says Caleb. I would love that. I would love that. Where are we going to finish in the Buddhas League of the season, boys? Make sure you vote in the poll. I'm just going to leave it up there um, and let you guys vote. Let's do it. We've made our three signings, and it's time to cook. We've made our three signings. It's time to freaking cook. I don't think we're going to have... Oh, you know what? No, we didn't win the Champions League. So I was going to say maybe we had somebody win the Ballon d'Or, but we didn't win any trophies. I doubt we're going to have anyone win the Ballon d'Or. Let's sim until June, guys. We are not in any European competition, I don't believe. Maybe we are, but I don't believe so. Let's see, guys. Let's see. Keep voting in the poll. I see 25% winners, 75% top seven. You guys are not high on this season. Uh, we got Hertha Berlin, our first match, and we do get the dub 3-1. 1-1 against Bayer Leverkusen. Hoffenheim. 1-1. One, one. I forgot to I forgot to uh, change the training plans. And I forgot to hire a coach, by the way. So let me hire a coach real quick to start this season. We need a defensive coach, desperately. Four-star. We got a five-star midfielding and attacking coach. We're just going to hire him. There you go. Can I hire any more coaches? Yes, I can. One more. Um, I guess this guy's fine. Can I hire another one? No, I can't. That's it. I bet. And then I do need to do training plants as well. For all of these players. Oh, we didn't loan anybody out this year. Sorry, I didn't want to waste time. Cool. Then let's save the game just in case it crashes during the simulating process. It looks like Rando is simulating currently in his Berlin rebuild. He is in September, so we're basically on par with each other. We're at the same place. Oh, we're in the Conference League, so we are in a European competition, boys. Hopefully, this is an easy competition to win. We got Wolfsburg up next, and we're going to get the 2-1-L. No way. What are we doing, boys? What are we doing here? 2-0. Nice. 3-1 loss. 1-1 one, one draw. No nil draw. We're not looking good this season, boys. I'm not going to lie. We got Stuttgart next. 2-1 win. Majitlin next. 1-1 one, one draw. Bayern Munich loss in the league. Beat Bayern Munich in the cup. Tied Bochum. Tied Majitlin. We are not scoring enough. We just beat Schalke 4-1. Love that, boys. Okay. Just beat Augsburg. Beat Wolfsburg. Whoa, 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 whoa. How are we in the Champions League now? Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, no. I, I was looking at Rando's stream. I'm not going to lie. That's my bad. He just beat Wolfsburg. Shout out, Rando. He's doing really good. I got confused. Just beat Dortmund. I'll take that. We're in January. Yay. We've won three matches in a row. Let's go. We're cooking right now. 2-0. 2-1. 2-2. 2-1 win. Heidenheim next. Hey, Rental is in the building. Rental, it has been insane. This episode has been crazy. This this rebuild has been crazy. We made the Champions League final our first season with Berlin. And we could have ended it there, but I wanted to keep going. Um, and uh, see if we can win the Bundesliga this season. Uh, we made the Champions League final and we lost to Inter Milan. I would go check out that game, watch that game. Um, I appreciate you joining, Renzo. Hit that like button so we can get this in the algorithm, man. You're an absolute legend of the channel. We just lost to Bayern Munich. That's bad. Bayern Leverkusen, we just lost 3-1 again. Hertha Berlin, 1-0. Honestly, I think we're doing worse this season. Just beat Stuttgart. Can we beat Leipzig, please? Last game of the season against Wolfsburg. Wait, not the last game. We won 2-0, though. Hoffenheim, 2-0. Let's go. Oh, we're in the cup final. I think we may have just won the DFB Pokal. That is a trophy in our cabinet. Let's freaking go. Just like the Renzo, absolute legend. Two! absolute re legend Renzo let's take a look at how we did this season boys it looks like most of you said top 7 43% said top 7 29% winner 29% top 4 okay that's fair that is fair in my opinion I need the mock swing I need the mock swing let's go okay I need the mock swing 
First, let's take a look at the stats. Let's take a look at the stats this season. Last season, Volland was our top goal scorer with 17 goals. This season, it's Hollerbach. He grew four ratings again. This guy is a superstar in the making. 17 goals and four assists. He should be higher than a 79. It is what it is. Oh my goodness, Rando just got fired in his rebuild. Rando, you need mods, my boy. You need mods. I just lost GG. Um, but Rando... Could you see where you finished in the league? Let me know. He gets a cone offer. That's funny. Uh, if you guys are wondering, I'm watching Rando's stream in the Discord. Follow the Discord. Link is in the description below. Um, Aaron's in 9 and 10. Once again, he is our top assister. This guy is consistent. He is immaculate. He is beautiful as well. Look at that hair, bro. 9 goals, 10 assists. For Tessin off the bench, 9 goals in 14 matches. He might be a starter next season over Volland. Yeah, he's a 79 rated, 24 years old. Him and Hollerbach are basically the same guy. Goes into another good season. Seven goals and one assist. Oh my goodness. Onana, two goals. Nice. Skarky off the bench. Five goals and two assists. Where was Frimpong? Frimpong was honestly underwhelming. One goal and five assists. It looks like our boy Rando has ended the stream. I'm going to go see you, Joe. Rando, I'm sorry you lost, bro. He was sixth in the league. I'm sorry you lost, bro. Um, Really cool to see you streaming, though, bro. Really cool to see you streaming. Thank you for joining the chat as well. I appreciate you, man. Shout out Rando, guys. Go follow his... Uh, I'm pretty sure he has a YouTube. I'm pretty sure he does. Caleb says ninth place. Sign Mbappe. Joe, sign Mbappe. Okay, maybe we sign Mbappe this season. Uh, two star pretty good off the bench. Arthur, good growth off the bench. Frimpong's our highest rated player. 88 rated. This team is busting, man. This team is busting. Let's go. Crawl, not a good season from him. I'm not going to lie. Leite, not a great season. 6.2 in the league. Okay, let's take a look at the standings, boys. Let's take a look at the standings. We got fourth place. We are going to be in Champions League next season. That was so close because we were one point ahead of Dortmund. And we only scored seven points more this season than last season, which is surprising. Obviously, we were in a bunch of competitions, but we did get top four. I will take that. We'll be in Champions League next year. Bayern Munich wins back-to-back -back Bundesliga titles. Good for them. We do win a trophy, though. We win the DFB Pokal, our first trophy of this Union Berlin rebuild. Awesome stuff. And then in the Champions League, Super Cup goes to Inter Milan. Champions League goes to Inter's in the final again. Wow, they've got a dynasty cooking over there. Spurs win the Europa League. Conference League, we got bounced pretty early. It's an all-Italian final. Final. Whoa, it's a Rome final. Roma versus Lazio. That's pretty awesome. Uh, we got bounced pretty early here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, we lost in the preliminary round to Sturm. To Sturm. We got second in our group. Only one win in six matches. Five draws, no losses. Interesting, bro. Interesting. Sign whoever scores Atletico versus Inter. Okay, let's sim a couple of days and see who wins that match. Um, okay. 2023 Rewind. Yes, because 2023 Renzo, Berlin got fourth in the Bundesliga. That's very true. Hey, Chico Little Killer Navas is here. Bye. I got to go do homework. Um, Amori, what's up, bro? Thanks for joining. Thanks for your cameo. I appreciate it, man. Legend, thank you for joining. Let's see who won the Champions League. It was enter again, 3-1. I don't know who scored, though. I can't see who scored, but enter won again. That's back-to-back -back Champions Leagues for enter. Very interesting. Um, did we have the Golden Boot winner? Kane and Musiala, top two. Wow. Hollerbach was fourth. Nice job from him. Voland was 10th. Assist leaders was Edward and Aronson, tied with eight. Let's go. Sign whoever scores Atletico versus Inter in real life. Oh, that's right. The game is about to start. Or it just started. It might it might have just started. You guys got to keep me updated on that game. Bet. Bet, 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 bet. Okay, I really enjoyed this team for the second straight season, man. We do need a left-footed center back. I'm thinking Schlotterbeck over there. And plus, he would be the German player that we need over there. And also, maybe a defensive midfielder. Um... I like the strikers we have. Voland, I think Vertessen is coming up big time. He had nine goals in 14 matches last season. So I think we're a good at striker unless we have like 300 million. Maybe then we go after Mbappe or something. Uh, but right now, I doubt we're going to have enough money to sign Mbappe. Um, we'll see how much money we have, okay? We'll see how much money we have. Let's do some development plans here. Brendan Aronson is going to continue to grow. He is so good. <laughs> 
So good. Voland is going down, so maybe we sell Voland, get some extra cash, coop up some extra cash, and uh, and buy a new striker. We could definitely do that if that's what you guys want to do. Who's a German striker that's really good? Mukoko? He's German, right? I don't think he's that high rated, though. He might be around what Voland is. Two weeks for the boy Malik Tiao. He's been amazing for us. Nine weeks for Frimpong. Onana's been a good pickup. Shout out Mo for that recommendation. Mo was here earlier, but I think he's uh it's like really late for him. So he had to go to bed or something. Uh signed Timo Werner. Imagine we signed Timo Werner. Visca Barca says Sajid. Come on, Athletic says Caleb. He wants that uh, Atletico. Okay. We're going to end the season here, boys. Season 2 was a definite success. We did win the DFB Pokal. So we got our first trophy in the cabinet. We got fourth in the Bundesliga. We got dropped in the preliminary round of the Conference League. But this, I think, is going to be the third and final season, boys. We already made the Champions League final, so technically we've already completed this challenge. But I want to do one more season and sign the players that you guys want me to sign. What is our budget looking like? It's looking like 84 million, so it's less than last season. Makes sense. We didn't make the Champions League. We weren't in the Champions League, and we, don't, we didn't go far in the Conference League. Makes sense. All right, guys, let's use some of the money here to do contract extensions. For these youth academy players or these young players, especially. Busk. Okay. Grill, backup goalkeeper. Two years, nice. Schultz. Young left back, nice. Schleintz. Nice. Jackal. 30k. Release clause, nice. Busk. Leite. Nice. Dookie, for show, new contract. One of the best players on the team. Voland will give you a new contract, but we are gonna We are gonna add him to the transfer list though. Pretty much a sussy season to be fair. Sign Timo Werner, bro. If we sign Timo Werner, I think he would actually be good with us. Playing in a two-striker formation. I think he would actually be good. Guys, we're gonna do one more season of this rebuild, and then we're gonna call it quits. This is the season to win the Champions League. Can we do it? I hope so. Let's see, man. We're definitely not going to have enough money to sign our boy ha uh, Mbappe or Holland. Uh, that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. All right. Rano new. Yeah. Uh, we're going to reject that. Bro, we have four strikers that are 79 rated. No, that is wild. All right, we're going to add Luling to the transfer list. Because he is tw he's worth 23 million. So we're going to add him to the transfer list. And then we're going to keep Vertessin, keep Hollerbach. And I guess we'll just keep Voland. Might as well. But we're going to add Louis to the transfer list and get some money. We'll have 100 million in the bank after that sale. That'll be awesome. Um, we're going to add Schaefer to the transfer list as well. He's worth 8 million. We'll sell him and then sign a new DM, maybe to replace Crawl. Um, that could be good. And then also, Frimpong gonna have a big year. A new left-footed center back. That's what we need. So can I sell a center back? Hmm. He's worth one million. Jackal's worth seven million. One, two, three. Leite's worth sixteen mil. Now we'll keep Jackal. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can uh, sign Schlotterbeck real quick. I do want to sign Schlotterbeck. He's like a, a given. Like, I have to sign him. SCH Schlotterbeck. That's his brother, I think. Nico Schlotterbeck, 25 years old. Yeah, bro. And he's German, so that gets the objective out of the way. And he's 85 rated, bro. 85 rated. He's not for sale. Oh, you got to be kidding me, man. That's rough. That is rough. I'm not going to lie. That sucks. 
Uh. Hmm. Timo Werner. Let me look up Timo Werner. Let me see how much he's worth and what his rating is. 29 years old. He's only an 80 rated player and they have him as a left winger. Nah, there's no point to sign it, signing Timo Werner. Alvaro Morata. Okay. Morata. Alvaro Morata. 32 years old. He could be really good. He could be good. Spanish. 83 rated. He could be nice. Who else? Who else should I sign? Or think about signing? Let me look up center backs. I don't mind the age too much since this is the last season. Let's go to the Premier League and see uh, who's available. I want a left-footed center back. Batty Shield. Sven Botman would be nice. I would love to sign Sven Botman. Batty Shield would be good, though. It's not too expensive, either. Jimenez. Vardy all. Too expensive. Kilman Kiviar would be cool. Lissandro Martinez. Too expensive. Reese. Schurz. Timber. Timber would be nice. I wouldn't mind Timber. I know he's not left-footed, but he'd be cool. Pal Torres is left-footed. He could be good. There, youngsters. Can I see your squad? Sign Stones or Gavardio? Okay. Uh, oh, what about Mickey Man Van Deveen? What if we brought Van Deveen back to the Bundesliga? I think he'd be perfect on this team. He knows the league, too. All right, I'm going to let you guys vote. Victor Boniface. Ooh. He's going to be way too expensive, though. Like 100 million, huh? 67 million. Bro, we are just raiding Bayer Leverkusen at this point. It's actually hilarious. Uh, right now, we only have 83 million in the bank. I'm looking for a new left-footed center back. I think Van de Veen would be perfect. Van de Veen is good. Uh, cool. It's uh, Hey, thank you for joining, bro. I appreciate it. Hit that like button real quick so we can get this in the algorithm. I know it's, it's not necessarily early anymore, but we did start the stream quite a while ago. And uh, it's not sporting juniors, but it's a, it's a fun rebuild. And uh, I really appreciate everybody who has joined. And uh, this has been a really fun rebuild for me to do. Can you buy N Naziri? Okay. He's from your country. Oh, okay. Morocco. And Naziri is from Morocco. So um, I know AC Milan. I'm a big AC Milan fan. If you guys didn't know, AC Milan is interested in signing Van, uh, in signing N Naziri uh, as our next striker. Um, but I think the asking price from Sevilla is a little bit too high. So that's why they haven't gone forward with it yet. Van de Veen's good. Let's go ahead and approach the side. Van de Veen, let's go. Side Joao Felix. I'd be down for Felix. I'd be down for Felix if we have enough money. If we have enough money, of course. Offer transfer fee. We're going to offer $44 million plus a sell-on clause of 2%. What do you say, Tottenham? Please don't walk away. They ask for $62 million, bro. That's a lot. That's a lot of cash. I'm not going to lie. That's way above what we were offering. 50 million, what do you say? They come down to 59. The tension is rising a little bit. We're going to offer 55. What do you say? We still have 21 million in the bank, and we are going to sell one of our strikers. So we should have about 40 million after we sell the striker uh, to sign maybe Joao Felix or something. Or Enaziri. But Van de Veen is going to fit in perfectly. He knows the league. Obviously, in real life, he just moved from Wolfsburg to Tottenham. And uh, he's a really good young center back. 83 rated, only 24 years old. And he fits the timeline with Duki and Malik Tiao. I think he's going to be awesome. We'll give him 70k a week. I think he should accept that. He will accept that. Let's freaking go. You're, bro, you're such a great YouTuber. You actually talk to us. I appreciate you, bro. What's your? What should I call you? Zizu? Should I call you Zizu? I appreciate you. That's actually amazing to hear. That warms my heart. That warms my heart, bro. That warms my heart. Thank you so much. I try. Um, on Mondays and Wednesdays, I get to work from home, which is nice. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do have to go to the office. So that is why today, which is Wednesday, um, I streamed a little bit earlier so I because I was able to work from home. So, um, but yeah, that is awesome, bro. That is amazing to hear. And because I do work, I don't put as much effort into YouTube as I would like to. But... Once we hit, like, maybe 50K subs, I want to do that by the end of the summer. So, like, 
around August, September. I want to hit 50K subs. Um, maybe once we hit 50K, I can quit my job and then just go full-time TikTok and YouTube. That would be amazing. Um, but that really inspires me to keep going. I appreciate you, bro. Zizu, you're a legend. You are a legend. Thank you. You're goaded. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what? Drake. I need the mox I need the mox mean. That is amazing to hear, bro. Man. I love hearing that. That is awesome. All right, let's move this old man Leite out of the squad here and bring in the new hot young blood, Van Devine. Let's go. Leite is going to be our super sub off the bench, though. Don't forget about him. He's going to be good. I think I'm going to bring him in for this guy. Since we're going to sell Luling, we're going to sell him for quite a bit of money. Um, we're just going to take him off the bench. And uh, this is the squad we have right now at the moment. It's a really good squad, guys. Gosens has been nice. That's why I don't want to replace him yet. He's one of the lowest rated players on the team. But he's been so good the last two seasons. One of our top goal scorers, matter of fact. Uh, and then Frimpong, maybe I change his instructions because last season he didn't do very good. I'm not going to lie. I definitely want him to get in behind because he's so fast. Definitely stay wide since Voland is in a uh, target player position. I would like Voland to be the hold-up player and then Frimpong overlap him. That is the goal um, with that connection there. Or whoever we have at this position here. Um, so I like Frimpong's instruction. I don't know why he didn't score very many goals last season or get very many assists. But uh, hopefully this season's going to be better. We do do a gang and pressing. We have signed one player already this season. And remember guys, every season we have to sign a new German player. Every single season, one of our three signings has to be a German player. That is the rule. Since we are playing in Germany. We're going to sell Schaefer here to Everton. Everton. <laughs> that sounds Scottish. Averton. Averton. Like the movie Brave. Have you, have you guys seen the movie Brave? With the girl with the red hair? The red locks? Um, I think that was one of the lowest rated Disney movies on Rotten Tomatoes. Like ever. Uh, well, we can get 34 million from Luling. We get an offer for 23 million. Let's negotiate this. Zizu says, Sue! It would be very much appreciated. Yes. Um, bet. Bet, bet, bet. Yeah, going back to that, I, I do hope that I can go full-time to YouTube at some point in the future here. We're going to ask for $33 million. They're going to reject that and just walk out like idiots. Okay, your loss. You missed out on a promising young player. And now he's going to go to Wolves. Wolves have offered $25 million. That is a better offer from the previous team. Um, still, we're going to negotiate this and ask for $30 million. Bro, say Boston Tea Party. The Boston Tea Party. Yes, the Boston Tea Party was something that happened... Hundreds of years ago, a couple of hundred years ago, and it still strikes the hearts of many patriots and Americans. And Wolves have accepted this $30 million offer, 30 million euro offer. Let's go. OMG, thank you, bro. <laughs> the Boston Tea Party. The Boston Tea Party. Let's go. All right, let's quick some a couple of days here. Ooh, Lazio have come in for our boy. Lu Ling, we're going to reject it. I just want him to go to Wolves. Good luck to him in the Premier League. I think he'd rather go to the Premier League too, honestly. Um, and plus, he gets paid more. The Premier League offers a lot more money to their players. Um, we don't have a bunch of people watching the stream right now, but we have had a lot of people filter in and out. Um, I know it's not Sporting Juniors, but it is still a fun episode that we're going to be doing a lot of over the next couple weeks until we start the new Sporting Juniors, which is either going to be in the Bundesliga or it's going to be in the Serie A. Um, I still have yet to decide that, and I'm working on a new crest for the new Sporting Juniors. Um, and also, um, for the next couple of weeks, I might be doing a live. I might be doing live streams of a player career mode where we play a season every single episode that we're on live. Um, so maybe like a an eight hour. Sorry, an eight episode um, player career mode encapsulating eight seasons of Joe Red Sports. That could be fun, man. We did that in FIFA 23. I think that'd be fun if we did that in FC 24 as well. And basically, the goal would be to move a club, move clubs every single season. I think that'd be fun. All right, crawl offer from Juventus, 20 million. And after selling Luling, we have 54 million in the bank. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. 54 million in the bank. And now we have some pretty... Good options here. Boniface is going to be way too expensive, but what other strikers do we have? We have Mukoko, who just joined Frankfurt, so that's not going to happen. Bruner, Paris Bruner, who's on Dortmund, could be good. Uh, Maratza, 
I don't know. Marat's is just a little bit older. I don't know if I want to go for an older player. Boniface would be so nice. Oh, Chavi Simons would be good, but I know he's going to be way too expensive. Huh? Chavi Simons is going to be way too expensive. Let's see how much. He's a central attacking midfielder, but he plays center forward as well. 94 million he's worth. Way too expensive, man. Not going to work. Alessio is in the chat. What's up, Alex? I appreciate you, bro. That is Alex, if you guys don't know. I appreciate you in the chat. Uh, Zizu says, Joe, I recommend to focus on the Youth Academy because you will keep the money that you might have had bought a player with. Focus on the Youth Academy because you... Oh, okay. Very interesting. We have had some players grow... Um, like Hollerbach. Hollerbach started as a 71, and I didn't have to start him the first season, but thank God I did because he has become a machine. Um, but he was kind of in the Youth Academy, but I never promoted anybody in the Youth Academy. We have one guy in it right now. Um, I guess I could send out some scouts, but you know what? Let's do it. Let's send out, let's, uh, send out a scout to, obviously, Germany. Uh, anybody. doesn't really matter. What position? Sounds good. Maslu or Mudrik? Don't listen to a Chelsea fan, says Sajith. <laughs> Sajith. Sajith, Sajith. That is crazy, bro. Uh, Joe, never listen to a Chelsea fan. By the way, guys, I just posted a Chelsea fixing short video on my YouTube channel. Um, so check out that video if you haven't yet. Hit that like button. Um, and guys, by the way, if you haven't liked this video yet, hit that like button so we can get this out in the algorithm and get more people to watch this stream. I know it's not the usual stream, but we are doing FC24 rebuilds um, quite often from now on since we're not doing Sporting Juniors every day. Um, so yeah, so get used to this. Um, maybe next week or maybe tomorrow I'll do another one and it's going to be your favorite club. So stay tuned for that, guys. That's going to be fun. Uh, let's quick sim a couple of days here. Sign Mudrik. Joe never listened to a Chelsea fan. Sign Maslu or Mikhailo Mudrik. Mudrik would be sick. I'm not going to lie. And maybe since... Uh, Gozins has been so good on the left side. Gozins has been amazing. But maybe Mudrik would link up better with Hallerbach, Voland, and Aronson in the attacking third. Maybe Mudrik would just be better at that. And I don't think Mudrik is going to cost that much money. Let me take a look here. Mudrik, Mikhailo Mudrik, left mid, 24 years old. Not the worst defending, 46 defensive stats, not the worst. He's only an 80 rated, he's worth 30 million, so this could definitely happen. Scout them, um, 80 rated. Uh, I have mods on, so I don't have to scout anybody. Um, since we are just simming the entire season, I don't think it makes sense to have to scout players for 30 days or something. Um... Mazlu. Let's look up Mazlu. I know Mazlu's a baller. I just don't know if his defensive stats are that good. He's a right mid. We have Frimpong on the right side. We could sign Mazlu just for squad depth. I'd be down. Um, but we do need to sign a German player. We do need to sign a German player because every single season, one of the three signings has to be a German player. We already signed one player this season, and that was Mickey Van De Veen. Uh, left center back side. And now look at this center back trio. Duki, Tiao, Van De Veen. VDT, baby. This is VDT. Love that. Um, Onada and Crawl as the DMs. Both of them have been really good the past two seasons. Aronson has been our top assister both seasons. He is growing nicely. And then Frimpong took him from Leverkusen for $90 million. Wasn't good last year, but I'm expecting big things this season from him. Maybe we just go for Mikhailo Mudrik on the left side, move Gozins to the bench, and then uh, use our last signing for a, like, Maratta or something. We could do that. We could do that. I'd be down to sign Mudrik, man. I'd be down. I don't know if he'd start every game since uh, our boy Gosens is a little bit higher rated. <sighs> I would love Chavi Simons, but he's way too expensive. And we got to work within the parameters of our budget. We're going to sign Mudrik, man. He's got crazy pace. We're going to sign Mudrik, bro. By Sule or Brant. Truly, Brant would be nice. Nicholas Sule is good. So you want me to sign a Dortmund player? By the way, guys, I am coming out with a Dortmund video tomorrow. I just finished editing it yes, last night, yesterday. Um, so Dortmund uh, Season 2, Episode 2 is coming out tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned for that. I know it's been a little while since I posted, but uh, we're going to finish that series, and then we're going to start doing rebuilds, um, rebuild videos. All right, 29 million plus 4%. They want Crawl in return plus 20 million. That is not happening, bro. Pochettino must be on drugs, bro. No way I'm giving him that much cash. Plus, one of our best players. Not happening. 
Doesn't look like Pochettino is willing to budge on the Mudrick offers, um, which is kind of surprising to me. So negotiations have broken down there. Um, or Sajith. Chelsea went from 11th to 11th. Big push up. Um, <laughs> Chelsea did beat Newcastle, though. That was a big that was a big dub for them. Sign him next week. Okay. Joe, if you want someone cheap, try to buy Mukoko. Mukoko is pretty cheap, I'm not going to lie. But he just moved to Frankfurt. So that's not going to be able to happen. That is unfortunate, man. That is unfortunate. Anita hmm. Maxwin. I would like the video. Thank you, Zizu. I appreciate it. We're up to 14 likes on the stream, guys. Our next goal is 15 likes. Um, that would be awesome, guys. We've had about 62 people view the stream so far. Um, average viewers is six. One of them is me. Just so you guys know, one of them is me on my phone. Um, just to make sure the stream is running smoothly and everything like that. I appreciate y'all watching. And if you are just like shadow watching, don't be afraid to chat in the comments, man. If you're just shadow watching, I know some of you do. Don't be afraid to chat. Don't be, don't be afraid to be in the chat, man. Y'all are legends, bro. No such thing as a bad chat, bro. Um, Victor Boniface is way too expensive. Alvaro Morata would be nice, but I would like to see the striker duo that we have currently play. Um, Kanoff would be good. Jan Kuto would be nice. Man, we need a German player. We need a German player to fill out that objective. Jens would be all right. Chabot would be all right. Uh, just as backup center backs. Uh, Valentin Mahaila. Okay, let me look him up. Let's take a look. Valentin. Valentin Mahaila. Here he is. Left mid, 25 years old. I don't know who this is. He's from Parma. Interesting. I do have a Parma rebuild scheduled for someday. I've already made the thumbnail and everything. Um, Parma would be a fun rebuild. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Um, if you guys want to see that tomorrow, let me know. We can do that tomorrow. Um, 75 rated. He would be good squad depth, bro. I'm not going to lie. He would be good squad depth. Uh, Dennis Mann. Oh, okay. Time next week. Dennis Mann. Dennis Mann. Okay, let's look up Dennis Mann. I appreciate y'all chatting. Y'all are legends, man. Y'all are definitely helping me out. Dennis Mann. Oh, did I do one too many ends? There he is, right midfielder, 26 years old, 77 rated from Leeds. He's got really good pace. Not great defensive stats, but he could be a good backup right midfielder. By Goatsy, okay. Uh, guys are saying Barca is bad while they are in a title race and just five points behind Real. Yeah, Barca isn't doing that bad. I wouldn't be shocked if Xavi goes back on his promise to step down at the end of the season. If Barcelona wins the Champions League and they end up second or third in, in the uh, in La Liga behind Girona and Real Madrid, but they win the Champions League, I think he's definitely going to stay. There's no reason not to stay. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason not to stay. So, yeah. Oh, Dennis Mann is also at Parma in real life. Interesting. Guys, hit that like button real quick so we can get this in the algorithm. Y'all are legends. I need some help signing some players here. We do need to sign another German player. I'm looking for either a left mid or a right mid. Uh, preferably a left mid to be back up to Gosens or start over Gosens. We have $54 million in the budget. Or I'm looking for maybe a backup cam. Goatsy? Let me look up Goatsy. Goatsy could be a backup cam. Um... Or I guess there's multiple Goatsy, but I'm thinking Mario Goatsy is, th is what you're thinking. Um, he's pretty cheap from Frankfurt. 33 years old. Brings much needed experience. That'd be awesome. Hey, Martin is back in the chat. Bro, I have not seen Martin, Martin in so long. I need the Mox Wing. I need the Mox Wing. I need the Mox Wing. Let's go. Martin is back in the chat. Two. Two. Absolute dubs for Martin. I haven't seen you in a while. Martin, if you don't know, we have decided to call it quits on the Sporting Juniors career mode in Spain. So we're going to start a new Sporting Juniors in two weeks where I'm going to make a new crest, new kits, and we're going to be in a new league, either the Bundesliga or in the Serie A. Let me know in the comments, where do you guys want to see the newest Sporting Juniors rendition? Do you want that to be in the Bundesliga or the Serie A? We've done the Premier League in FIFA 23. We did La Liga early in this FC 24 um, time frame. Uh, so we've done La Liga and the Premier League. I would love to do Bundesliga or Serie A next. Let me know, guys, where do you want to see Sporting Juniors next? 
Bundesliga or Serie A? It's between those two choices. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. Martin wants us to go back to the Premier League. Interesting. Daniel Malo would be crazy. Um, not great defensive stats. And honestly, I don't know where he would play. Nah, I can't do Malin. I don't know where he would play, honestly. We want Premier League again, says Alex. Okay. And Martin also says Premier League. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll consider it. I'll consider it. How about that? I'll consider it. Um, no promises, but I will consider it. Um, yo, Drake got that. W's, dubs in the chat. I need the max win. Dubs in the chat. George says Prem. He wants to be back in the Prem, guys. Hit that like button so we can get this out in the algorithm. I love you. And uh, let's continue this uh, Union Berlin rebuild. We made the Champions League final in the first season. We lost to Inter Milan. Second season, we won the DFB Pokal and got fourth in the uh, uh, Bundesliga. So we're going to be in Champions League this third season. We are on the third season. W says Zizu, WWW. When do you, when do you want Sporting Juniors, Joe? Where do you want Sporting Juniors to go, Joe? I want the Serie A. You guys know my favorite league is the Serie A. That's the league I follow and know by heart. Um, but if you guys don't want to see that, that is completely fine. I would just love the Serie A, honestly, personally. That's my favorite league. You guys know AC Milan is my favorite club. I would love to start in the Serie B. The Serie B is in FC24. I would love to start there and work my way up to the Serie A uh, with you guys as my players and prospects. Um... In sports and juniors so that would be awesome that would be my dream to do syria zizu says w live w live guys hit that like button for zizu my team's back in the chat too also george is back in the chat sajith is always in the chat being a baller causing chaos wreaking havoc that is what sajith does best man and i love it i absolutely love it um all right guys you know what i'm looking for a backup cam i have made my decision i'm looking for a backup cam preferably a german and we only have 54 million in the bank, guys. What are you guys thinking? I mean, we can do NCSO and make him a cam. He can definitely play central attacking midfielder. And he's on an expiring deal. That could be a dub. Signs Pufundi. Oh, Kevin Shada is German, I'm pretty sure. That's a really good one. Alex, I'm pretty sure Kevin Shada is German. I could be wrong, though. Where is he? Kevin Shada. He's left winger. He's a left winger. He is German. I'm pretty sure he can play cam. I don't know. His passing is kind of low. I'm not going to lie. Joe, I want trouble with Union Berlin, says George. I want trouble too. For real, I want trouble too. Three. That is what I want as well. I think we can do it, man. I think we can do it. Uh, Shada is German, so that would get that um, check, checked out of the way. Uh, Pafundi. Pafundi was the other one. Pafundi would be good. He's really short, though. He's like 5'5". Five five. He is really short. Yeah, five for five. He's on Spurs. We just stole Mickey Van Der Veen from Spurs. Maybe we just go back and sign Pafundi too. Make it a double swoop, but he just moved and he's not going to be able to move again. That is unfortunate. Okay. Well, we could get Chukwameka as our backup. Goatsy would be nice though. I'm going to let you guys vote. Goatsy can play Cam and he could be our backup to Brandon Aronson. I just think we need some squad depth at that position especially. So I'm going to let you guys vote in a poll here. I'm going to put up a poll in the chat start a poll which cam to or should we sign i'm gonna put in mario goatsy i'm also gonna put in and see so we can make him a cam really easily same with goatsy and then i'm also going to put in chuk wameka those are the options that we have available to us right now guys um but foodie we're not able to sign i guess we can sign mudrick too we can try to sign Mudrik again. Um, this is for the cam position, though. I know Mudrik doesn't necessarily play as a cam, but I guess we can make him a cam. But these are specifically cams. I'm going to vote for Enciso. I would like to see Enciso, guys. Uh oh I would personally love to see Enciso on the team. But you guys let me know. What do you want to see? Oh, Inter's winning 1-0. Federico DeMarco just scored. Oh, wait, no. Antoine Griezmann scored. Oh, my God. I'm getting no the notifications now. My phone just turned back on. It died, and then I charged it. It's 1-1. So, I think Inter Milan is winning on aggregate 2-1. Somebody let me know in the chat. Guys, keep me updated on the score of that game. I think it's 2-1. Inter Milan. Someone keep me updated. That is awesome. All right. It looks like the chat is sick. Oh, pfft. <laughs> it's 33% every single guy. All right, guys. We need... We need the winning mm. votes. We need someone else here. I'm going to leave it up. <laughs> it's 33%, 33%, and 33%. That is insane. I voted for Enciso. 
We got two votes for Goatsy, two votes for Chukwameka. Bro, we got too much a striker. We do have a bunch of players a striker. We have like four 79 rated strikers, but we just sold Luling for 30 million. So we now have three strikers at 79 rated. Voland, Hollerbach, and some other guy. I can't remember his name. Um, guys, we need one more vote. Oh my goodness, whatever this next vote is, that's going to decide who we are going to sign. I know there's more people than six votes in the chat. Come on, boys. Vote, 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 vote. Sign Adi Emir, Emre Chan. Okay, we could definitely sign Emre Chan because we need a DM. But we do have Tussart and Crawl and Onana. So maybe we don't need a DM. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Guys, we need one more vote, though. Which cam should we sign? I can't believe it's at 66%. Sorry, 33% for every player right now. Wow, it's really close. My team says 1-1, one, 2-1, one, one, Inter on Ag. Let's go. 43%, there it is, the final vote. 43% to Carney Chukwameka, who is on Chelsea currently, and I think he's still on Chelsea in the game here. Uh, yeah, he's still on Chelsea. He's going to be the cheapest option out of those three. I think that's a perfect signing, guys. But we do need to sign a German player for our third and final signing of this season. We get three signings per season. One of them has to be German. Pochettino is not stingy with this offer. Six million for Carne Chukwameka. We need a backup cam. I think he's going to be perfect for that position. Let's go. Mudrik can be converted to a cam. Alessio, that's true. Um, Joe, try to buy Zaire Emery. He's going to be way too expensive though, huh? Joe, we got too much as too much strikers for Sporting Juniors. George, I agree. I agree. Um... Uh, uh, I did look at the Discord. Guys, if you want to be part of Sporting Juniors, join the Discord and uh, let me know your position, the name you want to be, your nationality, your physical attributes, like what you look like, um, right foot, left foot, pretty much everything about you. Not about you, but about your player that you want to be and the, the name you want it to be and everything like that. Carney Chukwameka is in the building, boys. So we have Van Veen and Chukwameka as our two signings so far this season. We get one more. One more signing, and I'm thinking... Hey, guess who's in the chat? It's Ivan. Ivan is in the chat. Three. Ivan the legend. Ivan, I know I didn't play you um, in a one-on-one -on -one last episode, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to today because I do need to leave in 20 minutes. And we're going to get done with this third and final season very soon. I do need to leave in 20 minutes, so I can't promise that we'll play today. But uh, tomorrow, um, hopefully we can sign. Joe, sign Holland, Mbappe, or Vinny Jr. I would love to... Change the formation of 4-3-3. The formation that we've been using is looking, is, is looking, is working. It's been cooking. I'm not going to lie. We made the Champions League final in the first season. It's okay, Sezavin. Thank you so much for understanding, man. Um, I do want to play you, though. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll play you. Um, Mujic, guys, subscribe to him. Zizu. Yes, listen to Zizu. Hit that sub button. Thank you, Zizu. I appreciate you, bro. You are my, uh, my, my hype man. You're my hype man. My hype beast. My hype man. I appreciate that, Zizu. You're a legend, bro. Bet, says Ivan. Bet. Can't wait to play you again tomorrow. George, the, the formation we've been using is working. It's been working. What was the guy you recommended? Um, I'm going to tell you about my player Discord. Okay, yes, Martin, go to Discord. Do it in the Sporting Junior section, okay? Sporting Junior section. Zizu says, LOL. Sign me, Misha Mudrig. Joe, I'm going to tell you about... Yep. Go to the Sporting Junior section. Sign Adiyemi or Emre Chan. Um... What was the player I was about to look up? I was about to look up a player. Why can I not remember his name? Oh, I'm like Dory from Finding Nemo. I have short-term memory loss. What am I thinking, bro? I just signed a cam. I signed a center back. We're good at those positions. I think we're good at the DM position as well. I guess we could sign one more. I think we need a, a wing back. Or a winger. Bruner. Oh, I do have Bruner. I have Bruner transfer hubbed. I have the right back Bruner from Schalke, and I also have the striker Bruner from Dortmund. He is German. Um, what was I thinking, bro? Okay, I need a German player here. Goatsy could play left mid, I guess. Uh, man is Romanian. Okay, we need a... Oh, Kanoff. What do you guys think about Kanoff? It has to be a German player, and Kanoff looks really good. I'm not going to lie. I would like a left mid. Ooh, Udoji left. Uh, Udoji's Italian, though. Oh, Martin, that would have been sick. I think Nemecha would be good, too. Nemecha would be good. I think he is German. I think he would work. Um, 
in the midfield. Uh, we use the Mecha in the Dortmund career mode. By the way, guys, Dortmund career mode coming out tomorrow. Hit notifications so you're notified of when that video is dropping. And also, hit notifications so you know when I'm going live, okay? And also, join the Discord. Link is in the, in the description of this video. And uh, if you can't use the link for some reason, search Joe Sports Hub, okay? It's pronounced Nuff. Not can I? <laughs> my bad, Alex. My bad. My bad. I'm not German. I don't know. But now I know. I appreciate that, Alex. And I'll, I'll get it right from now on. His name is Nuff. Just Nuff. Joe's stream is better than videos and short side. Jeez, I appreciate that, bro. I try to bring the energy as best as I can. Su whoop. Su whoop. Let's go. I appreciate that, bro. Um, I try to bring the energy best I can. I have not been sleeping very much lately. Um, that's why my eyes are red. If you guys are wondering, they're not very white right now. It's not because I've been smoking that ganja. It's because... I have not been sleeping a lot lately. Um, not for any reason, just really busy with work and YouTube um, and other stuff. Um, Finn, working out every day. So that's why my eyes are red, if you're wondering. Um, anyways, I'm also not German, LOL. Alex, but you know better than I do. So W U, Alex. W U, bro. Absolute dubs. Okay. Okay, we need a German player. Daniel Malin is not German. Bruner would be okay. I need a left mid. I'm just going to look up left mids. Or a left wing back. Left mid or left wing back. That is German. Has to be a German player. I don't mind the age, really. Let me just look up uh, nationality here. Look up by nationality. German here. Let's go. Summit search. Gosens, we have Gosens already on the team, and he has been amazing for us. I think we just need a backup because Gosens is getting kind of old. I'm not going to lie. Adiemi would be nice, but he's kind of expensive. I'll put him on the short list, though. Um, he is kind of expensive. Aladu, okay. Bestie? This could be my bestie. It's your bestie, Miss Miss Westie. It's your bestie, Miss Miss Westie. Bestie could be cool. I've never used him before. He looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. You guys let me know, though. Uh, is he good? Is Bestie good? I've never used him. He's on Torino. Looks pretty good. Reese. Looks like Reese's. He's got a mullet, too. A nice mullet, bro. Looks like a baseball player. Um, uh, his defending's not very good. I need a left mid that has pretty good defensive stats because I like my left mids coming back on defense. Mine, a 31 defense is not going to work out. Um, 76 rated hack. Bad defense. This guy's pretty decent. Okay. Not bad, not bad, man, not bad. Bro, stop yapping, says Sajit. Su woo! My bad. Sorry, I won't yap anymore. Um, but we do need a left wing back or a left mid right now. Felix Agu, really good defensive stats. Pretty good pace. He could be a good player, and he's German. 72, 74, 78. Oh, Luka Nets. Luka Nets is German. And he's left wing back. Marco Johns. Okay, it's between Luka, Luka Nets, Marco Johns. Joe, should I search up German players? It's okay, Zizu. I think I got it. I think I got it. It's either between these three players. I'll do four players. I'll do four players, but I need you guys to vote in the poll I'm about to put up. I appreciate you guys hitting that like button. Thank you, Zizu, for the help. Um, legends, bro. Absolute legends of the channel. Which left mid should we sign? As our final signing of season number three. And then we'll sim the entire season. We got Bestie. He's a left mid. I don't know how good he is. Um, Agu. Breda, it's Marco Johns, not Marco. <laughs> My bad, Alex. Bro's catching me lacking, bro. He's catching me lacking. And I love it, bro. Keeping me in check. You're keeping me in check. All right. Agu is the second option. Third option is Luca Nets. I think he would be nice. I think he could take over the Gosens role. After Gozens retires or something. If we do do another season real quick. Or John. Guys, I'm starting the poll. I am going to vote as well. And I'm going to vote for Luca Nets, personally. Because I get to vote too. Because why not, man? Why not? Why don't I get to vote? 67% best seat. Wait, now it says 100% Nets. What the heck? Guys, vote in the poll. Vote, vote, vote in the poll. So I know who you guys want me to sign. This is a democracy, bro. This is a democracy. Who do you guys want me to sign? Oh my god, first second, we were at the 33% thing again. Right now, it's 40, 40, 20. Guys, vote in the chat. I know there's more of you on here than that. I know there's more of you on here than that. We're at 40% Bestie. 40% Agu. 
Now 50% bestie. It looks like bestie's probably gonna win. <laughs> Sajith is crazy. Renzo's back, by the way. Renzo, vote in the chat real quick. Um, okay, we're at 43% bestie, 29% agu, 29% nets. Wow, I thought you guys were gonna vote for nets. I'm not gonna lie. I'm shocked about that. Uh, Alessio says can off or not. Sorry, not can off. I messed up again. Noff, we already have a right wing back backup. Uh, we have shoot, what's his name? He's also on Leverkusen in real life. I voted that says Renzo. Oh my god, 38%, 38%, 35 or 25%. We need one more vote, guys. We need one more vote. Uh, it's close. It's close. Joe, can I hop in VC with you? Um, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow because I am gonna be leaving in 13 minutes. Um, I do need to go somewhere in 13 minutes. 44% bestie is going to win this poll. It looks like that's the guy you guys want me to sign. He is the highest rated player. Um, I've never used him before. I didn't even know who he was. I'm not going to lie. But uh, the reason why not, we're not signing Knopf is because we have already... Oh, shoot, guys. I'm not going to lie. I have totally misjudged this. Bruh. I have totally misjudged this. We cannot approach the buy bestie. He has just moved to Torino and won't move again. So, we're going to go for the second place guy. I guess Luka Nets. We can sign him. We can sign Agu as well. That is so shocking for me. I'm sorry. That's an L, says Ren Renzo. L, 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 L. My bad. My bad. Elnoff. <laughs> Elnoff. Gunter, says Martin. Gunter, okay. Gunter. You don't know where I'm from, dog. Yeah, Alex, I have no idea where you're from. I'm not going to lie. Uh, your player, Arjan Zasko, was from... Oh my god, where was Aryan from? Because that was your player in Sporting Juniors. Oh god, where was he from? Oh my goodness, I can't remember where he was from. Oh my god, Luka Ness is not going to happen either. Joe, how do you record your screen? Uh, I use OBS on my desktop. I'm not on my phone or laptop or anything. I'm on desktop. That's how I record. Romania, bro. Oh, Alex is from Romania. Okay, my bad. He was from Algeria. That's what it was. Algeria. That's right. TL offer. We're going to block offers for TL. He's amazing. Um, and then we are going to block offers for Onana as well. Onana's been amazing. Um, okay, that's interesting. He was from Algeria. But what happened to him? Yes, we did sell him, I think, in season number six. I think we sold him. Um, and honestly, we shouldn't have because we were kind of dog shit after we sold him. I'm not going to lie. The wing play was terrible, atrocious once we sold him. But... We're going to quick sim here. We're going to get the 2-1 L to Man United. It's an L in Van de Veen's first match with the club. Klosterman would be sick. Um, hmm. I record my screen with OBS, Zizu. OBS Studio. Newcastle. Uh, I'm simming a few days so that we can get to the week that I can sign our boy uh, Lucanets. I can't believe I'm not going to be able to sign Bestie, guys. That is my fault. That is stupid on me. Really stupid on me. I'm sorry, guys. Let's play some of the backup guys here. Uh, Chukomeka. Where is he? There he is. Cool. We'll play him. Um, Skark. We'll play him. Uh, Arthur. Arthur was the other guy I was thinking of. We have Arthur, and we also have Skark as the right wing back slash right mid. So I didn't think that we needed another uh, right wing back. Cool. Leite's going to start. Jackal's also going to start. Jackal. What's he jacking, bro? What are you jacking, bro? Vertessen and Volland. They're both going to be so nice, bro. Um, bro, we have such a nice team. I'm not going to lie. We have such a nice team. I know our strikers are only 79 rated, and we have three of them, but I'm thinking we're, I think we're pretty solid, bro. We got Frimpong on the right wing backside. We don't really need a right mid. I'm looking for somebody to take the reins from Gozins once he retires and starts, or once he gets older and starts to go down in his rating. That's why I'm looking for a left mid, especially. I think Luka Nets, he's a left wing back, just like Gozens is. He's got good defensive stats, decent shooting, and really good passing. Decent enough pace. I think he could be awesome. He can play left mid. I think this is the guy we need to sign. This is the guy we have to sign. And he did finish second in the voting, so this is who we're going to sign. And it needs to be a German player because we have not signed our German player for this season yet. All right, we're going to offer 19 million. Bro, don't walk out again. This time he accepts it. This It was only a 2 million euro difference. Why did he just get up and walk out last time, bro? What an absolute scrub. What a scrub, bro. Honestly, 
L L Muchin Gladback Manager. L Muchin Gladback Manager. Sign Maldini. This is our last signing of season three. Uh, we're gonna give him a. I wonder what he wants. Rotation. That's fair. That's fair. Cause Gosens is still higher rated than him. That is fair. We'll give him a five year deal. Cool. Cool. Latin says, bro, Schultz, Schultz, Schultz. No release clause. Luka Nets is nice, guys. I don't know. I mean, he finished second in the voting. I, I'm down with Luka Nets, bro. Maldini greater. Oh, well, Paolo Maldini. Paolo Maldini is the greatest left back of all time, if you ask me. Um, I am AC Milan bias and Italian bias because I am Italian. Um, but I think Paolo Maldini is the greatest left back of all time. Maybe you mean Daniel Maldini? Daniel Maldini is better than Chuko Maker or something? Maybe that's what you mean. But we have made our three signings of season number three. We signed Carney Chukwameka to be our backup central attacking midfielder. We signed Luca Nets to be our backup and hopefully future starter at that left wing back position. And we also signed Mickey Van Deveen, the center back from Tottenham Hotspur. So we've made some big moves this season, guys. Um, and I think we have a team that's deep enough to win Make it far in the Champions League. We got really lucky in the first season where we made the Champions League final. Ultimately, we lost to Inter. But um, I think, I just think we have a good team. We have a good enough team to, to really push far in the Champions League. At, at least make it out of the first round, man. At least. Um, I'm going to bring Nets in for him. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. Thornsby as our backup. Reserve central midfielder. And this team is nice, bro. This Union Berlin rebuild has been a lot of fun, guys. Please hit that like button if you haven't liked the video yet. Um, hit notifications so you're notified of when I'm going live. We're doing a lot of rebuilds coming up soon, guys. And I hope, and I think you guys like these rebuilds. And I hope you do. Um, yeah. I mean, it, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. We've built a really good team. Uh, Ronald's contract is expiring in a couple of months. Um, I do need to offer him a new contract extension. I got to give him one more year. Once we do this and I give some development plans, we're going to quick sim the season. And hopefully, we're going to win the Bundesliga and uh, win the Champions League. It might not seem like it with some 79 rated strikers, but those boys put in work. Those strikers have been putting in work, especially Voland and Hollerbach. Especially both of them. They've been nice. I'm going to give Rano one extra year. I don't want him to leave um, on a free. Renzo says play some golf. We can do golf one day in a stream. I do want to do IRL streaming one time. At some point, I want to do IRL streaming, whether it's me playing sports, going to run. If you guys want to see me run, I run every single day, um, four, five, six miles. Um, or maybe I IRL stream my soccer match on Sundays, my Sunday league matches. That'd be awesome, bro. Oh, we have the Super Cup coming up here. Guys, this is our first chance at Silverware this season. We got a loan offer here for Schultz. We're going to accept this deal. And uh, we're going to quick sim this match against Bayern Munich. But first, I want to do development plans for the new players, such as Van Deveen. He's going to go pretty quickly. I know he's in poor form right now, but he's going to go pretty quickly. Um, and then also, Chukwameka, of course, just joined. And then Luca Nets. I think I passed him. Luca Nets. Where is he? There he is. Cool. Let's get his defending and physicality up. Perfect, guys. Let's freaking get it. Let's beat Bayern Munich in this Super Cup finale here. Please, can we win? Please, can we win? We're going to block Thorsby offers. Accept the Stoke City loan offer for Schultz. Monthly scouting report. This was the idea of Zizou. Ooh, a couple of ballers here. This guy looks like a baller. Worth 575. Not bad. This guy's worth 900. Oh my goodness. A couple of ballers in the Youth Academy now. Love it. Hey, Finn. What's up, dude? Finn is here. Finn is here. Let's go. Uh, they play Tiki Tack. They got a pretty good team. Kane's still there. Three seasons down the line. Musiala, Kimmich, Sane. Pretty much the same exact team. A couple of youngsters on the back line. They got Neuer still as well. Joe, look at my last message. I'll take a look in a second here. Let's quick sim here. Gosens is up to an 82, and we lose on penalties to Bayern Munich in the Super Cup. That is not going to be a trophy for us. That is unfortunate. Just because my last name is Maldini doesn't mean I was born to play football. If a guy comes charging at you, who's going to stop him? My dad? Guess who said that, Joe? I'm going to say Daniel Maldini said that. I'm going to guess Daniel Maldini said that. That's my guess. That's my guess. 
Joe, search football 11. Oh, yes. We've done football 11 in the past on stream. I don't know if we're going to do it today. But I do need to leave, like, in five minutes. So this is going to be the last... The last season of this rebuild, guys. We've been on stream for three hours and four minutes. It's been basically once one season per hour <laughs> kind of funny uh, but it is what it is um we're gonna sim all the way until the end of june there we go boys here we go we got hide and time up first we're gonna get the one zero victory let's go frankfurt up next we're gonna get the two one l crap shalka one one draw why why are we why are we not winning do a backflip please football for five minutes okay maybe we can do that we got barca in our champions league group and we draw them visca barca sajith visca barca uh 2-1 in the cup nice 1-0 against Wolfsburg 3-3 against Rangers guys we need to win our Champions League matchups we need to win our Champions League matchups Leipzig next 2-1 Porto L okay wait we gotta stop everything here why are we losing why are we not winning hold on we collab with Isaac <laughs> Isaac not Isaac I Isaac says Sava Sava's in the building what's up Sava please hit that like button so we can get this out in the chat Sava I appreciate you joining man you are an absolute legend of the channel. Love you, bro. Love you, bro. Uh, let me go to training plan real quick and uh, change the training plan for some of these players here, uh, like Luka Nets and Chupameka and Berea, Ingobrath. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And then Vandeveen, too. Goes and stew. Why not? Valen's a little older, so we'll change that to balanced. Cool beans. And you know what? Vertessen should be starting now. I think Vertessen should probably be starting uh, at the striker position with Hollerbach. Voland is kind of done growing. And it looks like Vertessen is starting. What's his pace? Vertessen's got crazy pace. Okay, yeah, that's dynamic. That's pretty dynamic. Uh, definitely drift wide, getting behind. Now I'm going to tell Frimpong to cut inside. Definitely getting behind, though. Maybe that'll help Frimpong score some goals or something. Joe, backflip. I want to backflip. I can't backflip. I would kill myself. I would snap my neck and die. I don't know about doing that, bro, boys. I, I I cannot do a backflip. We got a DFB Pokal matchup here. Okay, these guys are looking really tired. Why are these guys looking tired? Oh, no. My computer just froze. My computer just froze. Okay, I think I'm back. I think I'm back. Okay. I think I am back. Officially, I think I'm back. My computer froze for like 10 seconds. Really tweaked me out. <laughs> I haven't said, well, we're still good. No, no technical difficulties killing this stream, okay? No technical difficulties killing this stream. We're going to get it, man. Uh, we're going to finish it. Luka Nets in for Gozen. So we're going to see how he does. Wait, what? Wait, what? That was weird. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, here we go. Cool beans. Okay, we're just gonna do this. Quick sim in here. This is a DFP Pokemon matchup. Let's go! 3-2 victory! Let's go! An extra time. Bet. It's still frozen. It should be better now. Yep, never mind. Says Izu. Bet. Okay, so it looks good on your stream. Your screen. Now you're good. Thank you, Martin. Cool. Cool beans. Tournament prize money. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, guys. I have to leave in like like now i have to leave like now but we're gonna get through this season we're not doing too great right now ninth place at the moment uh, let me hire a coach real quick i forgot to hire a coach this season we need a defensive coach badly uh give us a five-star coach thank you we'll take that his name is fox bro fox <laughs> he fox yes sir all right we're gonna release him and then add the other five-star defensive coach cool bets nice okay i think we're chilling now i think we're chilling definitely a lot better in the coach category i appreciate y'all chatting mateus iverson just joined guys we got a bunch of people joining hit that like button Three. i appreciate y'all in the chat you guys are absolute legends i do have to leave unfortunately very soon but we are gonna try and get through this third and final season technically we've already succeeded in this rebuild because we made the champions league final already but i wanted to do another couple of seasons because if we just did one season, that's not really a rebuild, man. Um, I wanted to do at least three seasons. We lose against Porto. What is going on, guys? It looks like it's not going to be the dream season. It's not going to be the dream season. We are not doing good. 
Okay, we just beat Bayer Leverkusen. Football 11. Joe, I will get my Spider-Man pajamas if you shave your head. <laughs> I'll take some Spider-Man PJs. I used to have some Batman PJs when I was younger. Um, maybe I still have them somewhere. Probably not. I don't think so. But that'd be kind of lit. I'm not going to lie. Spider-Man PJs. All right, we got Rangers up next, guys. We're going to go to the quick sim area here. Right now, we're last in our group. Two points. Yeah, we're not catching Porto. There's no way. Damn, that's rough, guys. That sucks. I'm not going to lie. Do push-ups while sim. Ooh. I would, but I got the green screen behind me. Okay. Uh, I want to see if we can make it past this round. We won 3-1 on the quick sim. So I think the game is doing something weird when I sim on the calendar. The game is doing something really odd when I sim on the calendar. Because we just won easily when we use the, the players that I put on the pitch. Football 11, bro, please. Yes, okay. We'll, we'll do football 11 in a second here. Can I get this win? 2-2 draw. Hollerbach and Vertessen. Those two are going to score a lot of goals this season. Um, football 11, football 11. You guys are spamming. Do push-ups while sim. Okay. Bayern Munich up next. Quick sim. 1-1. One, one. So we're not losing. We're playing some tough teams too, and we're not losing. So crazy. I don't know. We got Barcelona up next, guys. We need to win this match if we want any chance. Nope. We're not going to be moving on. Well, hopefully we, we uh, win the Europa League. Because it looks like we're going to be bounced the, to the uh, Europa League. That's unfortunate. Joe, remember Aston Villa 7, Liverpool 2? No, I don't remember that. I don't remember that. I'm sorry. Um, I don't I don't remember that. I'm going to make some subs here. Since we're not going to be moving on anyways. Tukamek is up to a 75. Good for him. Um, we're going to play Starkey in for Frimpong. Nice. Jackal as well, also in. And then also Schmidt in. We signed him a couple seasons ago. And then uh, Tussart in for Onana. Cool. We're going to quick sim this against Barcelona, our last Champions League match of season three. And it's a draw 1-1 one, one. Ah, at home. Looks like we're going to be in the Europa League, guys. So that's not a bad thing. Not great, but it's not a bad thing. Uh, let me go to the training plan. Put these guys on balanced. Let's go. And now we're just going to sim the rest of the season. I appreciate you guys joining the stream. This has been a W of a stream. We had a lot of people join later on. Makes sense. We started the stream really early on. A lot earlier than normal. Um, but I appreciate each and every one of you who has liked the video. Shared my streams with a friend. Um, hit notifications. I appreciate all that have done that. We just beat Dortmund 2-1. Let's go. By the way, Dortmund career mode video coming out tomorrow i finished editing that last night so season two episode two of the dortmund career mode is coming out tomorrow hit notifications so you're notified of when that's dropping that's gonna be awesome we got atalanta in the europa league and we're gonna lose 1-0 in the first fixture second fixture we're going to lose 3-1 and it's not been the best season guys it looks like the the signings we made have not helped at all i'm not gonna lie that sucks i'm actually upset about that um, especially considering this is the last season. But we did win a trophy. We won the DFB Pokal. Maybe we'll win the Dor the Bundesliga this season. Doesn't look like it. We just lost to Heidenheim. How did we lose to Heidenheim, bro? Anita Maxine. Somebody tell me. How did we Anita lose to Heidenheim, dog? Come on, man. No way, dog. No way. So, football 11, football 11. I will do one game of football 11, guys. Uh, that is the end of the season. Let me sim one more week here. Just so we can see who won the Champions League. Hey, we finished the season on a hot streak. So maybe we were just in too many competitions and we were just too tired for all of our games. And maybe that's why we lose we, we were losing or something. Interesting. That's interesting. We finished in fourth place again. So on the same exact amount of points as last season. I need the max win. 59 points. 59 points, which is what we had last season. And Bayern Munich loses the Bundesliga to Leipzig. They win handily. Good for them. Super Cup. Uh, we lost that to Bayern Munich. I remember that. DFB Pokal, Bayern Munich wins that. Um, and then in the Champions League, who ended up winning the Champions League? Inter has won both of them this rebuild. Madrid wins it over Man City. Europa League, we were in this competition. Roma beats Dortmund. Conference League, Fiorentina beats Malmo. Shout out Malmo, man. Making it to the Conference League final. This is the team we finish on. Not a lot of squad growth this season, boys. I'm not going to lie. Not a ton of squad growth this season. Let's take a look at the stats for this team. 
man, really bad squad growth. Everyone had a development plan. Voland, once again, for the second season out of the three, gets 17 goals and six assists. That's awesome. Brendan Aronson, I told you guys from the beginning, this is why we signed him the first season on a permanent transfer. Remember, he's on loan there in real life right now. We made that deal permanent the first season right away. 15 goals and nine assists. Vertessen, 14 and five. Hollerback had an awful season. Five goals and no assist. TL 4 and 1. Goes in 7 and 2. He's been Mr. Consistent for us. Uh, Onana 2 and 3 in the midfield. Frimpong had a better season. 4 and 2. Um, 2 start 1 and 0. Oh. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Arthur, no, none and none. Chuko make it 2 assists off the bench. 1 assist for Nets. Van Deveen. Bad Champions League rating. 5.78 is actually atrocious. Uh, that's atrocious. Dookie. Nice, okay. Guys, that is the end of season number three, but I'm thinking we just signed one player. We signed one big name striker in season four, and then we just sim the entire season. That's that's what I want to do. I think that's what I want to do, guys. What do you guys think about that? We just signed one big name striker, and then call it wraps after we sim season four. You guys down with that? I'm down with that. Um, or maybe we sign a goalkeeper too, because I think we need a goalkeeper badly. Our goalkeeper kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie. Rano's kind of trash. Um, he's only an 80 rated. He was good at the beginning, but now that we're looking for, you know, trophies, I think we need to sign someone else. Reject. Okay. What do you guys think about that? Football 11, new game. Football 11's new game. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we're going to advance here until the end of the season. Are you doing another season? Yeah, we're going to do one more season, Alex. We're going to do one more season. You guys have convinced me. I this has been so seen. fun. We can't end like that. And plus, we're in the Champions I League again next season. Seen. Let's run it back one more time, but with a star striker. I think we'll have around $90 million in the budget to sign a star striker. Let me know in the comments, guys. Who can we sign for $90 million? I'm thinking Victor Boniface. Victor Boniface would be amazing for this team. He knows the Bundesliga. He plays for Leverkusen in real life. Um... And he's worth around $100 million. I think we'll have around $100 million. Maybe we make some player sales or something. Uh, maybe we sell Volland. He's on an expiring contract. Sign Mudrik. Okay. Um, I do like what I'm seeing from Gozen still. He's not going down. He's actually growing in rating. 83 now. That's awesome. Sign both. Okay, let's sim a day and let's see what the official transfer budget is going to be for season number four. It's going to be... 106 million right on the nose there 100 million guys i'm thinking victor boniface and i guess we can sign mudrick too mudrick is only worth about 42 million boniface we might be able to get for 79 million i think that's what we do gozins is like 40 <laughs> gozins is hella old he is kind of old but he's still not going down in rating which is interesting or chavi simons he's on an expiring deal i'm gonna let you guys vote we can sign either chavi simons or boniface as our star striker we can convert Chavi Simons to a center forward. He's a cam right now, but we can make him a center forward. Which forward sign? Chavi Simons. Whoops, Javi. Javi? Chavi Simons. Man, I can't spell. I'm sorry, guys. I cannot type right now. Chavi Simons. Oh my gosh. Or Victor Bodaface. You guys vote in the poll. I'm going to vote for... I'm going to vote for Boniface. I'm going to be different. I'm not going to vote for Simons. I know he's on an expiring deal. But I'm going to vote for Boniface. You guys let me know in the chat. In the poll, please vote on uh, who you guys think should be our next signing. Renzo says Simons. I see him in the chat. Uh, oh, Martin wants to doji. Maybe we sell Gozens and then just... Or, si or sell Nets and sign new doji. What if we sell Nets? How much are each of them worth? For some reason, I can't see the chat on my computer, guys. So I'm going to look at my phone here. Uh, to, for some reason, the chat is not loading on my computer. Um, is the chat not working, guys? Chat's not working. Ranzo, Sh Simons. For some reason, chat is not working, guys. And the poll is not working. Hmm. That is strange. Why is the poll not working? That's kind of bothersome. I'm not going to lie. Why is the poll not working and the chat is not working at all? Sell Nets and sign Mudrik. Yeah, Nets honestly was pretty underwhelming. 
What is he right now? He's a 79. He only... Bro. Bro did not grow at all. He wants a loan. We're not loaning you out, bro. I'm either selling you... Bro, that's crazy. What's Gozins worth? Gozins is worth 26 million. I'll sell Gozins. Keep Nets. I'll sell Gozins and keep Nets. How about that? How about them apples? I like that idea. Gozins has been good, but... Yeah, we're going to sell them. Nets loan offer. Two-star transfer offer. I'm not going to sell two-star. I'm not going to sell Nets because I need them right now. Uh, not selling Jackal. He's our backup center back. For some reason, guys, the chat is not working. I cannot see what you guys are typing. I have to use my phone. Uh, and for some reason, the poll is not working either. That is so frustrating. So freaking frustrating. Hmm. Uh-oh. Am I still live? I can't tell if I'm still live, guys. Uh oh. Give me one second, boys. I don't even know if I'm still live. I think I'm still live. Interesting. Okay. I think I'm still live. I'm not 100% sure, though. Why is the poll not working and the chat is not working at all? Sell Nets and sign Blue Drake. Yeah, Nets honestly was pretty underwhelming. What is he right now? He's a 79. He only grow. Bro did not grow at all. He wants a loan. We're going to sell Valen, too. So we're adding him to the transfer list as well. So we're selling two players. Um, Gozins and Voland. See, I'll offer no. Jack alone offer no. Thank you. Gozins, 30 mil. Oh, my goodness. Let's do it. Let's do it. I cannot really see the chat, guys. $34 million for Gozins. That is amazing, guys. I appreciate everybody who's watched this stream so far. Y'all are legends, man. Jackal, no, nope. not selling him. Let's say I'm not selling as well. TR, I'm blocking that as well. It's only a kick. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is better. That's all it is. Oops. You guys might have heard double there. My bad. All right, guys. Vote in the poll. I think the poll is now working. I'm going to vote for Victor Boniface. I think he's a little bit different of a player. I think he's what we need, honestly. But I'm going to let you guys vote in the poll. You guys let me know. We just sold Gozens. I appreciate you guys staying with me. That's my bad. Real Madrid coming for Gozens. We're going to try and get more than $34 million from them. Okay, what is Renzo doing, bro? What is Renzo doing in the chat? Bro's acting up. <laughs> bro is acting up. $35.7 million. Thank you, Carlo Ancelotti. This guy is going to be gone. Cool beans, cool beans, cool beans. I'm also going to sell Voland as well. Yep. Olympic Leon have come in for Voland, and he's on an expiring deal. We're going to accept that $21 million. So we're going to have a lot of money in the transfer budget, boys. This is going to be awesome. Perfecto. Another Voland offer. Stad Brastoy, $22 million. I'll accept it. Cool, 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 cool. Sign Mudrik and Mazalu. I'm thinking of signing Mudrik or Udoji for the left back side. And then we do need the striker. It's either Boniface. I'm going to look at the results here. It looks like you guys have voted for Chavi Simons. I guess I'll end that poll. You guys want Chavi Simons. I'm the only one that voted for Victor Boniface. Are you kidding me? I'm the only one that voted for Boniface. You got to be kidding me. Okay, so we're going for Chavi Simons. He is on an expiring deal, so it makes sense. Uh, we can make him a center forward as well. I think pretty quickly. So let's approach to buy the... 
PSG player, Chavi freaking Simons. Let's go, boys. Joe Football 11 right now, bro. It's so fun. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let me finish this. We're going to do one more season. We're speed running it. 96 million. We're in the ballpark. We got to keep enough money to sign Mudrick. 92 million. Let's go. We cooked. We cooked, boys. We cooked this one. Chavi Simons is going to go crazy on this team with Jeremy Frimpong. Nah, bro. That right side is going to be ridiculous. Brendan Aronson right behind him. Nah, bro. We're going to go crazy. We're going nuts. We're going nuts this season, boys. I appreciate y'all staying with me. Hit that like button if you can. And plus, if you haven't hit notifications, hit the notification bell. I'm dropping a Dortmund career mode video tomorrow. So make sure you're notified of when that's dropping. Hit notifications. Join the Discord. Link is in the description below. Awesome, guys. I love live streaming, and I love when you guys are in the chat. Um, you guys are awesome. Um, not a lot of people live stream on YouTube. I feel like I'm one of the, one of the only FIFA YouTubers that live streams on YouTube. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. Not too many live stream on YouTube. It's usually Twitch or Kick or something. Nah, not really Kick. All right, let's see how long it's going to take him to be a center forward. Please don't take very long. 31 weeks is kind of a long time, I'm not going to lie. Maybe we just make him a left wing. Now, let's make him a center forward. He's got to be a center forward. I just don't want him to play over Brendan Aronson. Maybe we change the formation. I guess we could do that. Protestant's honestly better. Um, okay. And Udoji, yep. Uh, Chavi Simons, center forward. He fits there. He doesn't get any... He gets a plus one there, so he can definitely play there. I'm going to tell him stay central. Target player, aggressive interceptions. Come back on defense. And then Frimpong, I want him to stay wide now and get behind. I want him to overlap Chavi Simons. That is the goal for those two right there. Cool. Um, all right, we're just waiting for Valen to be sold, and then we should be able to sign a new left mid or left wing back. I'm going to let you guys vote either Udoji or Mudrik. I'm going to let you guys vote, okay? Kevin Valen is gone to Olympic Lyon. Let me look up Udoji. We might not even have enough money to sign Udoji. We have enough money for Mudrik, but Udoji I'm not sure about. Yeah, we're not going to have enough money for Udoji. So it's going to have to be it's going to have to be Mudrik. Yeah, we're going to sign Mudrik, guys. Left mid. I think it'll work out. He's got a really good work rate, so I I do think that he could definitely play kind of defensive. Where is he? There he is. Yeah, he's got a great work rate, man. So I don't think it'll be a problem with him on the left side defensively. I think it'll be fine. We got Chavi Simons in. We got Mudrik in. We're speed running this, boys. We're speed running this. 40 million for my boy Mudrik. He, oh my god, bro. Pochettino, get off my butt, bro. 45.4 million. Come on, accept that. Bro, don't be a hoe. Don't be a don't be a freaking scrub, dude. Don't be a scrub, man. Thank you. Pochettino accepts that. Love that. Awesome stuff. Awesome sauce. Sauce. I want to be a left wing slash left mid sporting juniors, to be honest. Martin, definitely, I know you've been like defense for the past two seasons, so, or the past two sporting juniors renditions, so um, I definitely want to give Shea an opportunity to play a forward position. Definitely Martin, and definitely Caleb, too. I think he's been a, been a defender, both the um, uh, sporting juniors. No release clause. Thank you. Bro's wage is so hefty. We're going to give him 80k. Please don't walk out. Thank you. He stays, and we're going to sign him. Let's go. Joe, it's Ramadan, bro. Yes, if you guys do Ramadan, do Ramadan. Um, I'm not... It's Islamic, right? It's an Islam tradition, right? I I don't know too much about it, but it's... it's, it's uh, for... <laughs> that was the craziest stutter ever. It's for Muslims, right? Uh, Islamic people. Um, I'm Christian. I'm not Islamic, but um, if that's what you guys do, that's what you guys do, man. As long as you're supporting God and supporting your God. Um, and yeah, I think that I think that's awesome, man. Do do what you need to do. All right, Mudrik, an official left mid. Definitely telling him to come back on defense. We'll do basic defensive support, free roam, and then uh, we'll make him a target player. That's fine, bro. 
Mudrick is the next Hasper. I respect you, bro. Thank you, Matin. I appreciate it, man. Um, I hope I got that right, man. It's Islamic, right? Ramadan. So you guys don't eat meat, right? Or you guys don't eat... No, you fast. You fast. I'm pretty sure you fast. Someone tell me. Someone Someone tell me. Okay. <laughs> someone just tell me. Don't make me look stupid, all right? I'm Muslim, says Renzo. Bet. Renzo, awesome. I respect your decision. Thank you, Matin. Yours too. Um... Let's go. Let's get this dub for the Muslims. Let's get this dubs for the Christians. Let's get it done for the... Uh, uh, the Buddhist? <laughs> I don't know. The, Buddha, the Buddhist people? I don't know. Uh, but let's do some development plans here for the new players. This team's going to be nice. One more season, baby. One more season. This is it. Uh, center forward. It's going to take 30 weeks. Bro, I hope he doesn't play over Brendan Aronson. Aronson. I hope he doesn't. Mudrick. Can we make him a left mid real quick? 68 weeks it's going to take. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Whatever. Um, we can't eat from sunrise all the way to sunset. Gotcha. So you can eat at night then. Gotcha. Thank you for letting me know. You learn something every day, man. You learn something every day. That's awesome. Um, yep. It says my teen. Uh, Alan wa salan. Guess what that means, says George. Something with God? I don't know. Because Allah is the name of God in your language, right? Or the Islamic language or something? In, in your Quran? Or is it the Quran? Torah? Quran, right? Or the book of Torah? No, not the book of Torah. What am I talking about? The Quran. I'm pretty sure you guys use the Quran, right? Sorry, not the book of Torah. I'm tripping. My bad. Um, yeah, something like that. Sign Mazalu, sign Mazalu. I have no idea what that means, George. I'm not going to lie. I have no idea. Christians have church. Muslims have mosque. Yes, I know about mosque. Um, yes. True. Quran. 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 Right? So, Martin, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking about. Quran. That's like the Bible. That's like the Bible for Christians. I'm pretty sure. All right, guys. We have our squad set. We got Mujik on the left side. Shout out. Um, Alessio, I got you, bro. Uh, we have Chavi Simons as the center forward. I hope he plays in right there, and I hope it's not him taking over Brendan Aronson's position. I hope not. Uh, but this is the squad we're going to sim season number four with, guys. We're just going to go to the calendar. We are in the Champions League, and we're just going to go all the way until June, and we're going to sim. Let's freaking go. Oh, this is the preseason. We lost to Man City. That kind of sucks, but we beat Liverpool. Let's go. Okay. Uh, oh, I forgot to hire a coach. Let me hire a coach real quick. I'm doing too much. I'm not going to lie. I'm doing way too much, but let me just hire a coach. I need to go. I really need to go. I don't know if we'll do football 11. Um, I really need to leave like yesterday. Um, we need a defensive coach badly. Uh, we'll just do a attacking coach, I guess. Five-star, gang and pressing, which we do do gang and pressing. I want the attack to be lights out this season. I want to score 10 goals a game. Okay, that's an exaggeration. I want to score three goals a game on average. That would be amazing. Come on, man. That would be crazy. If someone scored three goals a game, that's insane. All right, guys. First match of the season. Werder Bremen, let's go. Get the crazy music going on. 4-2 victory. That's what I said. I wanted to score three goals a game, and we're averaging three goals a game right now. Dortmund up next. Three goals a game. Come on. Keep it going. Okay. Nope. We lost to Fenerbahce, bro. What? Okay. Why aren't we winning in the Champions League? We just lost to Copenhagen. Okay, I think the game's doing something fishy in the Champions League. So, oh my god, we have Real Madrid, bro. Nah, that is so effed up. Sign Mazlou, sign Mazlou. We're not going to sign Mazlou. I'm sorry, Alessio. We've signed Mazlou in past rebuilds. Um, we're not going to sign Mazlou today. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Why are we losing in the Champions League? I don't understand. We have to win this match to stay part of the to stay part of it we have to win this match we do oh my god we do win it we do win it absolute legends bro uh do football 11 renzo i'm not sure what it means i'll be honest i'm not sure what the uh that language is but uh cool beat augsburg in the cup we got real madrid again can we beat them in the reverse fixture this time we're at home come on man Back-to-back -back wins over Real Madrid. Let's do it. Same club or same team. Draw. We'll take the draw. Draw to football 11 or you're gay. <laughs> That's crazy. 
Do football 11 or you're gay. Okay. That is actually hilarious. Okay, we're going to keep swimming here. Mites next. 2-1 victory. Let's go. We might win the Bundesliga this year, boys. We might win the Bundesliga. For real. Okay. Copenhagen next. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Copenhagen. Everyone is healthy and fits. We get the 2-1 victory. We are coming back. We are going to move on, bro. We're going to move on. We have to win the next match, though. We have to. It's the Iraq Iraqi flag. Oh, it is, isn't it? It is. The Iraqi flag is red, white, and black, right? Red, white, and black. Iran is red, white, and green, I'm pretty sure. Um, bet. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, my team says, yo, I saw your dog. Yes, Finn was here. Finn was just right here. I know. He, oh, my God. We just lost two league games. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Finn was trying to play, but he knows I'm busy, bro. He knows this is so important right now. This is so important right now. I guess we're going to be starting Archer on the right side. Skarky's going to come off the bench. You know what? No, we're going to start Chavi Simons on the right side as a right winger. That's what we're going to do. And then we're going to start Hollerbach and Vertessen together. That's what we're going to do. Simons as a right mid. Let's do it. Simons is a right mid. Let's try it, man. I guess Fenerbahce, please. 4 0. Maybe Chavi Simons should start on the right wing. Oh my god, that's crazy. 4 0. Sook. 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 Let's go. That's a big dub, guys. I think that may have just sent us, sent us through to the knockout stages. Maybe. We're not doing too great in the Bundesliga. I'm not going to lie. Champions League, please. Yo, we just barely got second. We needed to beat Copenhagen, and we did. We needed to beat Fenerbahce, and we did. And we beat Real Madrid one match. We honestly almost got first. Big dubs right there. We're going to be moving on, guys. W. Joe, I'm getting a dog. George, what kind of dog are you getting, bro? Uh, I recommend a German Shepherd. I recommend a Beagle as well. However, Beagles have crazy howls. They can be kind of annoying, too. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I love I love the Beagle that my family had. Um Oh, we got Barcelona in the next round. Of course, we got Barca in the next round. How unlucky are we? Me waiting for Football 11. You're going to play all games on Football 11? I'm not sure. It's Let's try and get done with this first. Let's try and get done with this first. We're in January right now, boys. We just won our last match against... Who is that? Dusseldorf? Then we beat Mucho and Gladbach. And we beat Leipzig. We're kind of cooking right now. I'm not even capping. We're kind of cooking. Uh, just beat... Frankfurt in the cup, lost to Mucin Gladback. We have Barcelona next. Oh my goodness. And I think we're going to try Chavi Simons on the right mid side again. We're trying Chavi Simons on the right side. Again. I think he's kind of cooking there. Free roam. Target player. And then up front, Hollerbach and Vertessen. That is the club that we just won 4-0 in the Champions League with. 2-2, not bad. Chavi Simons did score from the right wing. That's not bad, boys. Bro, come on, you're gay. We're going to win this, boys. We are going to win the Champions League this season if we beat Barcelona. I can't believe we made the Champions League final the first season of this rebuild. I can't believe we did it. I, I mean, that is unheard of, man. We did have an easy road to the final. I'm not even going to lie about that. We had a really easy road, but... It is what it is. Okay, we're going to have to play Jackal here because Tial is on a red card. That's unfortunate. So Frimpong, I'm going to have him come back here as a right wing back, his his usual position. Join the attack. Aggressive interceptions. Overlap for show. Step up for show. Mudrik is starting. I'm going to start Mudrik way up here because I want him to score as a left winger. I'm starting Mudrik way up. Free roam. Getting behind. Stay, stay forward. Get into the box. Now, stay on the edge of the box. Aggressive. All right, guys. Quick sim against Barcelona. And we lose 2-1. All right, guys. That's it. We did make the Champions League final in this rebuild, but we're not going to win the Champions League final in this rebuild. We're just going to sim until the end of the season and uh, see what the stats are like. And then we will do a couple of games of Football 11, okay? I promise you. Got Dortmund up next. Maybe we can win the Bundesliga. We've been kind of hot lately in the Bundesliga. Maybe we can win it. I appreciate everybody joining, man. Please, if you can, if you're watching this at a later date, hit that like button. I trust that all of you guys in the chat already have. You guys are legends, man. Bro, I've been spamming, bro. I've been spamming. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. We've been on a roll in the Bundesliga, bro. Come on. Uh, oh, we lost to Bayern Munich. If we won that, I, I was going to say, yeah, we won the Bundesliga for sure. But I don't know now. 
See one the Ballon d'Or. Ooh, we're not going to be able to see that, Renzo. It's not, well, it's not going to be one of our players. It's probably going to be Mbappe or Holland. Come on. Oh, we got second. Three points behind Dortmund. I knew we had a good season. This was our best season in the Bundesliga, the entire rebuild. Unlucky, though, that we didn't win it. Dortmund wins it. Good for them. Um, Champions League ends up going to Real Madrid. So they won two in a row. Inter loses to Marseille in the Europa League. And Conference League goes to Manchester United over Real Betis. Nice. Let's take a look at the stats, boys. Really awesome rebuild. Xavi Simons, what a signing. 23 goals and 6 assists. The best single season we've had um, in this rebuild. For Tessin, 14 goals. Hollerbach, also 14 goals. Wow. That front three was awesome. Brendan Aronson, 9 goals. He didn't play very much, so Xavi played a lot then. That kind of sucks. Um, over Brendan Aronson. So they didn't play him as a center forward. PSG just scored. They're up 3 1. Oh, somebody let me know. Did Inter Milan win? Did Inter beat Atletico? Crawl. This was his best season. 5 and 9. Mudrik, 4 and 11. 2 start, 3 and 0. Scart, 2 and 0. Frimpong, 2 and 13. Top assist, bro. Three. Awesome from Frimpong. Bedevin, nice. Onana, not a good season. He didn't play very much, did he? Chuka make a one goal. Nets, one goal. Nice. Um, okay. Tiao, two assists. Honestly, I think we should have signed a better goalkeeper. We had some money left over in season three, and we had one more signing, but it is what it is. Um, after football, 1v1. No, because I have to go, guys. I should have left 30 minutes ago. Um, but I wanted to do one more season for you guys. I appreciate everybody joining. Uh, this career mode, what a legendary rebuild this was of Union Berlin. We ended up reaching the Champions League final and losing 2-1 to one to Inter in extra time. If you guys want to watch that, go watch it back. It happened at like the hour mark of this episode. It was fun. It was really fun. But I will do Football 11 because I promised you guys I would do Football 11. Let's do it real quick here. Let's see here. Oh, no. Did my... Oh, wait, no. I was going to say, did the stream cam die again? Like, no way, bro. Wait, why is that opening again? Football 11. That's... All right, Football 11. Oh, they changed up the whole look of it. For some reason, FC 24 opened again. That's annoying. Uh, but they changed the entire look of Football 11. Very interesting. This is very, very interesting. Let's take a look at this. Can you guys see it? Oh, yeah, it's just way too big. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, select the game you want to play. Oh, let me look at the chat, though. I need to look at the chat. WWW Bingo? Okay, let's play Bingo. Let's play Bingo. Football bingo, here we go. They did change it up a little bit. I haven't done this in a while. We're going to do no timer, guys, since you are a little bit delayed from the stream. Just like three seconds, four seconds. Um, all right, and Dombele. I'm going to do Napoli. I feel like Napoli is a little bit tougher. Mounier. Oh, he's German, right? No, he's not German. French? He's not French? Really? Who did Mounier play for? I don't know. I'm going to have to skip that. Upa Meccano. Uh, we're going to do French. Nice. Sterling. We're going to do Chelsea. Very nice. Good work. Hard, not easy. Okay. Uh, we'll maybe switch, the, switch that after this. Henderson. No World Cup. No Arsenal. No Monaco. No United, I don't think. Darwin Nunez. French. Gosh, my bad. I thought he was French. Chelsea? Okay, yeah. I don't know. Uh, Nunez. None of these. Abraham? God, thank God there's no time limit. What the hell? <laughs> what the freak is going on? Why is this so difficult? Timer, I mean. Okay, timer. Okay, we'll give up and do it again. We'll give up and do it again. 
Wait, what? Okay, let's do football bingo retro with the 90 second timer, okay? Let's go. Seedorf, uh, I think he played for PSG, right? No, he didn't play for PSG. Am I tripping? Okay, I'll just do Europe. Bazigua! Why do I feel like I'm tripping here? Okay, Chelsea, yeah. Uh, Vermeulen, I actually have no idea. David Silva. Why do I want to say Arsenal? Guys, David Silva. David Silva. David Silva. David Silva. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, I'm tripping. I don't think it's any of them. Van Bommel? No. Dude, why is this so difficult, bro? Luis Fabiano? Yeah, dude, I don't know. Retro's hard. That's what she said. Hey. Ballon d'Or for Rude Hillett, obviously. Balak. I mean, I got no idea, bro. Is it any of these? It's none of them. Oh, I thought somebody had to match up. Oh, so some of them don't even work. Skip, 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 skip. Okay. Henri. Oh, wait. No, French. <laughs> when I'm, st I'm stupid. Uh, Robin. Why did I think he played for Arsenal? He didn't. I'm stupid. Ferdinand. Manchester United. I don't know. Dudek? I don't know. I don't know. Zaltzan, PSG. I should just skip faster. What am I doing? Simano, bro, that was way too tough. Oh my god, dude. Okay, that's my fault. I want to do that other one again. Uh, I want to do this regular football bingo again. But let's do this. Football, play top 10. Timer, we'll do top 10. What am I doing here? Top 10, Liverpool 2004, 2005, most matches. Oh my god, what? 2004 to 2005? I don't even know who was on the team then. I was barely three years old. Bruh. I don't know who was on this team. Uh, Stevie, the guy from ESPN FC? Maybe? I don't know. That's insane. Nah, we're gonna skip this one. We're not doing this one. Football Link, I'm really good at this one, guys. I am super nice at this one. Hulk. Okay, so maybe Porto, Brazil, maybe. Okay, give us another one. Akanji. City? Akanji played for Dortmund. What Brazilian played for Dortmund? What Brazilian played for Dortmund? I don't know. I need one more. Uh, this guy must have played for City. Who's old that plays for City? Fernand... No, Fernandinho's gone. I don't think he played with Akanji. I need help, boys. I need help with this one. I need help with this one. I appreciate you still watching, by the way, guys. Y'all are legends, man. I need help with this one, though. I, I need help with this one. Bro said, bro. Any guesses? I'll do one more skip. Hazard. Cole Palmer? He's played for City. He's played for Chelsea. Uh, Sterling? Maybe it's Sterling. Oh, it might be Sterling, guys. What about Raheem Sterling? What do you think? I'll skip one more. No, I don't think it's Sterling. No, Molina just threw me off. Big time. Molina threw me off. Hella. Willian? That's, I, I mean, I... Not with Hulk. Okay, let's do Willian. It's not Willian. Oh, wait, did I spell it wrong? They can't find William. How do you not find William, bro? It's not William. Atletico. Man, who could this be? No, Hazard's already on here. Oh, it was Axel Witzel, bro. I don't think I would have gotten that, to be honest. Okay, so Axel Witzel's on Belgium, but Akanji's not on Belgium. Oh, they played together on Dortmund. These guys played together on Belgium. Same with Hazard. Molina on Atletico. And Hulk... 
Was Hulk on Dortmund? I don't know. That's weird, bro. That was a tough one. Why was that so difficult? I don't like that, bro. Why was that so difficult? All right, let's do this one. It's too hard. All right, here we go. Wait, what? Where's the grid? Uh, United and English Rashford. Boom. United and USA. Guys, give me someone from United that played for United that's American. I'm going to do Hoyland for the Danish one. Uh, who's American that played for United? I'm just going to spit, spit, spitball some names here. No way, bro. Still live. I know, Sajid. I was supposed to leave like 40 minutes ago. I need some help, though. American United player. American United. Somebody help me. James? Edward? T Wait, Tim Howard played? Wait, when did Tim Howard play there? No. No. What the heck? I just looked this up. Spectre? Jonathan Spectre. Okay, now what? Now what do I do? Tim Howard, bro, is cheating. I know, I, I did cheat my team. Wait, why, why can't I type anybody else? There's no other... There's no two things here. Nah, bro. That's crap. That's crap. All right, I'm going back. I'm doing it again. We're going again. I can't go again? F off. Why can you only play once a day? That's so stupid. I right, guess the footballer, guys. Here we go. We're playing this. We're guessing the footballer. Ten questions. Does he play... Dempsey? No, Dempsey played for Fulham, Seattle. I swear there was another English team. Does he play as a defender? Yes. Oh, wow, that was a lucky guess. What a shout that was. Okay, he plays as a defender. Does he play? No, no. Is he younger than 23? No, he's not. So he's not a wonder kid. Is he older than 30? No. So he's between 24 and 29, guys. Marco Royce, Atletico, goal. Um, this is a defender. He's between 24 and 29. Memphis Depay. No, guys, defender. Does he play as a defender? Yes. De defender, guys. Oh, oh, you're saying Atletico scored. No way. No. Atletico just tied it against Inter? Oh, my God. What a comeback. What a comeback. And Dortmund's winning. Let's go, Dortmund. Beating PSV. That's awesome. Uh, never mind. Araujo? No, Araujo's younger than 23, right? Does he play in the English League? Yes, he's, he's, he's in the English League. Is he English? Is he from England? No, he's not from England. He plays in the English League. Maybe Pau Torres. He plays in the Premier League. Pau Torres... Uh, is he Spanish? There's a lot of Spanish center backs. No, he's not Spanish. Wow. Um, has he ever played for Man? Man City has a lot of young defenders. Nope, not Man City. Chelsea has a lot of young defenders. No. Does he currently play for... United? No. Tottenham? No. What the heck? I ran out of questions. He's not on City? He's not on any of the big six, except... Wait, how old's Saliba? This isn't cheating. I'm just looking up Saliba. He's 22, so it can't be Saliba. What about Gabriel? How old's Gabriel? Gabriel's 26. It could be Gabriel. Could be Ben White, though. No, but he's not English. It's not an English player. Kukurea. No, this player has never played for Chelsea. It's got to be an Arsenal player, in my opinion. I mean, it could be Newcastle or something. But I am going to guess... Oh, Van Dyke. Did I say Liverpool? 
No, I didn't. It could be a Liverpool player. It could be Van Dyke. How old is Van Dyke? Is he 30 yet? Is Van Dyke 30? He's 32. It can't be Van Dyke. Canate? Jesus? It could be Gabriel. I mean, there's so many players it could be, guys. I'm just going to guess Gabriel. I have no idea. Uh, which one is it? This one, right? Nope. It's not him. It's not Gabriel. Botman? I'll guess, I'll guess Botman. It's a good guess. Not a bad guess. Uh, it could be a left back, right back, center back. Mark Gahey? What about Gahey? Nope. Oh, can't find him? Okay. Uh... Who else, man? Kukurea. Malatsia? No, it doesn't play for United. I'm thinking a Newcastle player. Trippier? How old is Trippier? He's 33. Oh, Trent. Could it be Alexander Arnold? Nope, it's not. It is Kanate. I say Kanate too. <laughs> Bruh. Fire match is my team. I wish I was live reacting and watching it right now. I should be watching it, to be honest. All right, we'll do one more Football 11 gameplay, okay? One more. I'm usually really good at guess the footballer, but that didn't work. Uh, Wordle. I'll do Wordle. Let's do Wordle. Here we go. Uh, Five-letter word. What about Wurtz? Verts. Florian Verts. That's a good one to start with. Oh, God. There's no W, I, R, T, or Z? Are you kidding me? I need the Max Wien. Bruh. No way. There's... I need the Max Wien. Okay. Wien. What about... Axel Witzel? Why am I, why am I saying Ws right now? Uh, Malin? That's a good number two. Okay, there's an A and an L in the right spot. Ba Bal Balin? Balor? Balit? Delano, Haler, no, there's no E. It's not Haler, and that's six letters too. Um, Marco, no, it can't be Marco. A L, S Hal, A L, A L. Lamella. Good try. Good try, Martin. Palmer. Uh, I think that's too many letters. Yes, too many letters. Good try, though. You got the A and the L in the right spot. Salah. It's got to be Salah, bro. It has to be Salah. It is Mohamed Salah. There it is, Sajid. Absolute dubs from you, bro. Congrats to you. Good job, bro. Nice job. You know what? I'll play one more. Football 11. God, this, this is so fun, but I need to go. We're going to do hard here. That's what she said. Belgian player, I'm going to go. You know what? We just signed Onana in the... Um, uh, in the uh, Union Berlin rebuild. We're going to use him here. Norway. Didn't, we just had a Norwegian player too, right? Like Vertessen. I'm going to go Odegaard. Nice. Oh, I should have gone Ostegaard. Okay. Uh, right back, I'm going to go Ben White. As a right back. Nice. Germany. I'm going to go with... Can I go Goretzka as a central midfielder? Yes, I can. Nice. Austria. I'm going to go with Alaba. Shout out Alaba, man. Uh, Sajit the Goat. Yeah, for real. Sajit the Goat. Alaba, we're going to go left back. Spain. We're going to go... I'm going to go Pal Tor. Oh, you know what? Shout out Morata. Morata is playing for Atletico Madrid right now. We'll give him the shout. Ecuador. Ecuador. Pacho, the Paco guy. Boom, easy. That was a good one. That, that, that was my best shout so far. Uh, Argentina. Can I go Messi as striker? No, can't go Messi as striker. Okay. That's for, oh, no, I have no time. Martinez. Oh no, Son, uh, Kim. Kim Min. Jay, I ran out of time, bro. That's not fair. 
That's not fair. I ran out of time. Ah. Uh, I want to do that again. I want to do that again. I'm doing the same thing. We'll do different. Okay, never mind. I, I guess I can't do it again. You can only do it once. That's so stupid. All right, we're going to do clubs. We're going to do normal mode so it's not as long. That's what she said. Answer, we're going to go Chow Han. You know what? No, we're going to go Benjamin Pavard. Shout out Pavard, bro. As a... We'll do right back. Monaco, we're going to go with... Like, they had to play for Monaco now. I'm going to go with uh, Balogun. Striker. Arsenal, I'm going to go with... Arsenal. There's a lot I could go with here. I'm going to go with Gabriel. We just guessed him. We're going to give him a shout here. I'm going to go with Botman from Newcastle. Nice. Bayer Leverkusen. I'm going to go with Florian Verts if I can. He's a cam, but he can play central midfielder. Nice. Tottenham, I'm going to go with... You know what? Screw it. Richarlison. No, I'm not going to do Richarlison. Uh, what about Werner? Timo Werner. Shout out Werner, man. Enter Miami, Busquets. Oh, no, I'll go Alba. Alba. Nice. West Ham, I'm going to go with... I mean, there's a lot I can go with. I'm going to go with Thomas Suchek. Uh, I'll go DM. Al Halal. Can I go Conte? No. Uh, Al Halal. Who's a center back for Al Halal? Wait, isn't Koulibaly a center back for them? Yeah, he is. Bet. Cool. Chelsea goalkeeper. I'm gonna go with Petrovic. Oh no, it didn't work. Uh, Sanchez. Nice. Al Nasser, central midfielder. Didn't Verratti go there? No, Verratti went to Al Halal. Okay, guys. Al Nasser, central midfielder. This is the last one. I'm gonna use your guys' help. Fiddle, okay. We can do Fiddle. Bowen, Malikovic, extra extra time, oh boy. Taliska, good shout. Oh, no, it doesn't work. Tali oh, I spelled it wrong. Taliska, there's no place for him in this team. With this formation, doesn't work. Garib, El Garib, nice. Maybe, nope. Taliska, Garib, Mane, I don't think Mane can play there. Nope, Mane can't fit there. What the heck? Central midfielder for Al Nasser. I know they've got good players. Oh my gosh. None of those work, guys. I appreciate the help, though. You guys are legends. Anyway, bro, still playing. Nora... We finished the Union Berlin rebuild. That was a lot of fun. Now we're just playing Football 11. Oh, Brozovic. Brozovic is there. Yes, 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 yes. Good shout right there, my team. Absolute dubs from you, bro. Uh, okay, we finished that one. Bet. Football clubs. Football Legends. Let's do Football Legends. Here we go. Uh, Netherlands. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do Rude Hillet. Wait, no, what? Okay, no. Okay, Cruyff. I'll go Cruyff. Uh, we'll do Cam, I guess. Chile, Alexis Sanchez. Yes, sir. Alexis. Alexis. England, I'm going to go for... Otavio, I'm pretty sure... Oh, yeah, Otavio might work, actually. He might have worked. Fofana? Yeah, Renzo, that would have been good. Coleman. Oh, Coleman's Dutch. Uh, English, guys. English, I'm going to go for... React to the game, says Sajith. I could. Bravo? Who the heck is Bravo? Couldn't find Bravo. Interesting. Oh, Beckham, obviously. Spell right. Beckham. How do you spell Beckham? It's like a weird spelling, right? Beckham. There it is. At the right mid side. Cool. Germany. Um, Mueller, Thomas Mueller, nice, oh, they have him as a striker, interesting, Switzerland, um, what about Summer, nice, Spain, uh, Ramos, for sure, we need a center back, Czech Republic, uh, Nedved, Nedved's a good one, 
Left mid, Brazil. Casimiro. Yes, sir. Ivory Coast. Ooh. Can Kessie work as a DM? Kessie can work as a DM. Let's go. Portugal, uh, Pepe for show. And then Ghana. Ghana center back, guys. I need a Ghana center back. Oh, for Chile would have been Bravo. Okay, cool. I need a Ghanaian center back. I feel like there's a big name I'm not thinking of. I feel like there's a big name I'm missing. Kudus? Kudus as a center back would be crazy. I know Kudus plays for Ghana, but he's not a center back. Who's a Ghanaian center back right now? I can't think of anybody, guys. I, I have no idea. I'll be honest. Oh, Mensa, Mensa, I've heard of him. Mensa, dang it. That would have been really good. All right, let's try one game of Fiddle. Bro, I'm an hour late. Oh my god, I'm so I'm such a bad person. I am such a bad person, bro. All right, we're doing classics, Fiddle, top five leagues, today's challenge. Let's do today's challenge. Player name, uh, Lewandowski. Robert Lewandowski, make guess. La Liga, okay, they play in La Liga. So I'm going to guess a Spanish player next. Uh, let's go... Let's go Ramos. Not a center back. Not Spanish. Not for Sevilla. Okay, very interesting. Salisu. He's a center back, right? Salisu's a center back, right? That's not going to work. We need a central midfielder here. Uh, not a Spanish player. Uh, maybe a winger? Like Rafinha, that would knock out the Brazilians too. Not Brazilian either, not a winger. Interesting. Lino, what about a Portuguese player, Joao Felix? What about Joao Felix? Or what about Depay? Oh, no, he's a striker. No no strikers. Um, we need a midfielder, guys. We need a midfielder here. Uh, Diog, what about Diog? No central midfielder either. It's got to be a goalkeeper. Uh, we're going to do Ter Stegen. He is from Germany. Not a goalkeeper. Is this real? Is this real life right now? I'm just trying to get the position. Okay, a defensive midfielder. Uh, uh, Samuel Lino. Lino. Left mid? I guess that could work. He's Brazilian, but let's try and guess left mid. It's not a left midfielder. And he doesn't play for Atletico. Bellingham? Oh, I didn't even try Bellingham. That makes sense. Central midfielder, English, I guess? Nope. Oh, my God. We don't even have the position. I need a right back. Uh, give me a right back. Uh, Lamine Yamal? Nope. This guy's not on Barcelona. And he's not a right winger. Oh, boy. This is not good. This is like my worst shout ever. Wait, does that say Real Madrid? Is that my hint? Oh, it is Real Madrid. I got Real Madrid. This player plays for Real Madrid. Did not realize that. Um, Carvajal? Who does he play for? What country is he from? He's Spanish, so no, no Spanish players. Can't be Carvajal. Right mid, Cam. Vinicius Jr.? Nope. Hosolu? Hosolu Spanish too. What the frick? CDM. Chuameni. Chuameni. It's got to be Chuameni, right? It's not Chuameni, but he is French. It's a French player, but it's not Chuameni. A French player for Real Madrid, not Chuameni. Could be right mid, right wing back, left back. Oh, Mendy. It's Furlan Mendy. Got it. Let's go. Three. Yes, sir. Furlon Medi. All right, guys, we're going to end the stream here. Thank you so much for joining this live stream. It has been absolutely epic. And good luck to Inter Milan or Atletico, whoever you guys are rooting for. Um, if you guys are watching that game, 
Let me know in the Discord who wins that game because I got to go right now. I appreciate everybody joining this chat. You guys have been absolutely amazing. Amazing chat. Love y'all. Thank you for being such a great audience. Thank you for commenting and liking the stream. You guys are awesome, man. Let's try and get to 20 mm. likes after this stream has been published. Right now, we're at 18. Let's try and get to 20, guys. We had a bunch of people watch the stream, and I'm so thankful for it. I'm thankful for you guys every single day. And hopefully, in the future, we can make this a everyday thing. I can stream on Twitch every day, stream on YouTube every day, make videos consistently because I'll have extra time. But I have to get to 50K subs before I consider quitting my job so guys thank you so much for joining me today i love y'all can't wait to see you on tomorrow's video i think either we're gonna start the career mode the joe red sports career mode or we're gonna do another rebuilds video let me know in the discord what you guys want to see but i can't wait to see you guys tomorrow i'm gonna end the stream here if i can because i had to go to a different stream here okay here we go bet 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 now we're back. All right, guys, I'm going to end the stream. Love y'all. See you guys next episode, which is tomorrow. And uh, hit notifications, hit that like button, hit subscribe, all the good stuff. Join the Discord. Link is in the description. Later.